Chapter 3421 Skinning Long Chen's Fingers Blinded the Man from the Blue Eye Bright Scale Race. Long Chen was fast and struck at an angle that left his opponent unable to even react. This, the, the, that movement art. The demonic beasts turned to the Lightning Falcon race. In terms of speed, the Lightning Falcon race stood at the peak of these demonic beasts. This was what allowed them to be arrogant. Not a single race here was capable of comparing to them. Long Chen's movements just now had vaguely been followed by the sound of rushing thunder. It was similar to the Lightning Falcon race's movement art. Don't look at me. I don't know anything, said the leader of the Lightning Falcon race coldly. Ah, uh, just then, Long Chen pushed his fingers deeper into that man's head. He was overflowing with killing intent. That nine-star heir was killed right in front of him while he was powerless to help. Long Chan was about to go crazy with rage. Now, all this fury was about to be unleashed on this unlucky fellow. Suddenly, the blue-eyed bright scale man returned to his true form, transforming into a giant serpent with four bright scales on his body. That was the origin of their name. In his true form, he escaped from Long Chen's grasp. After that, he opened his mouth, and black mist shot out at Long Chen. That black mist head just appeared when Long Chen vanished and reappeared on the serpent's back. A lightning blade then manifested in his hand and hacked down. Blood splashed. Those tough scales were unable to block his lightning blade, and a large gash appeared on the serpent's back. That serpent roared, trying to create distance from Long Chen, only for Long Chen to attack again. This time, Long Chen's lightning blade destroyed the scales protecting his neck. Long Chen almost cut off his head. However, with this, the serpent finally had a chance to strike Long Chen with his tail. That attack contained almost all his power. The void collapsed wherever the tail went, but it suddenly stopped. Space returned to calm, revealing that a hand had caught his tail. Idiot, you shouldn't have provoked me. Since you want to die, I'll help you out. I'm missing a snakeskin belt. Long Chen was infuriated. He didn't want to get angry, but there were always people forcing him. This person had also provoked him before insulting him. Just like that, Long Chen raised this person's giant snake body into the air and then slammed it into the ground. Boom! The earth crumbled and a huge Kai wave spread. Grabbing his tail, Long Chen repeatedly whipped him onto the ground. Didn't you say that I would die to your hands? Say it again. Say it again. Long Chen smashed him into the ground over and over again. The earth was constantly being destroyed, and the serpent hacked up blood. Long Chen had crippled his eyes right at the start, resulting in him being unable to unleash many of his divine abilities. Even with his tough physical body, without the support of his eyes, his speed was impacted. In truth, the blue eye bright scale race was very powerful, and their pupil arts were innate. Although their eyes couldn't compare to the three flower pupils, they were still very powerful. Regretfully, this fellow was too overconfident and was instantly crippled by Long Chen right at the start, leaving him unable to unleash his power. Long Chen was crazily venting his rage using his opponent's body. This pitiful fellow became a tool for Long Chen's anger management. Long Chen had reached the verge of madness due to the Nine Star Heir's death. If he didn't vent it now, he would be unable to control his own emotions. He would also be unable to fight in his peak condition. With every smash, the serpent's wounds worsened. His scales gradually broke off of his body, and his tough hide was being ripped off. The experts outside the Divine Lord Immortal Realm all shiver. Long Chen wasn't playing around. He really was planning on skinning the blue eye bright scale race. Oh, finally, all that was left in Long Chen's hand was a complete snakeskin. As for the eyeless serpent, he had fainted. 
Just then, a bolt of lightning flew through the air. Lei Yuner arrived. When she saw the snakeskin in Long Chen's hand, as well as the expert of the blue eyebright scale race lying on the ground, she covered her mouth in shock. Everyone had been brought in at random locations. However, Lei Yuner had placed a mark on Long Chen's body right before entering so that she could find him quickly. She had then immediately rushed over. It had only been a few breaths time, but Long Chen had skinned this expert of the blue eye bright scale race. Although she detested the blue eye bright scale race, she had to admit that they were very powerful. Otherwise, they wouldn't be the leading power of the scaled beasts. Long Chen stabbed his lightning blade through the serpent's head. Just like that, this future pillar of the blue eye bright scale race was killed. This is the snakeskin belt that I promised you. It's colorful. Long Chen tossed the snakeskin to Lei Yuner, completely indifferent to having killed the blue eye bright scale race's top genius. He had at least vented. Lei Yuner didn't stand on courtesy. She took the snakeskin and grabbed his hand. Don't waste time. Let's get to the core. The Lightning Falcon race and the Blue Eye Bright Scale race were mortal enemies. Other than in some special regions, they would always fight to the death when they encountered each other, so she didn't feel any sympathy for their death. In comparison, she cared far more about the core. Getting to the core and undergoing tribulation was the most important thing for them. Lei Yuner then transformed into a lightning falcon. Spreading her wings, she brought Long Chen flying toward the core. They instantly vanished from their original location. Long Chen, I will tear you to pieces. In the plaza, the leader of the blue eye bright scale race roared furiously. The disciple that Long Chen had just slain was praised as a heavenly genius that only appeared once every ten thousand years in the blue eye bright scale race. However, he had been killed just like that. Furthermore, it was such an insulting death. Long Chen actually skinned him. That was a huge humiliation to the entire blue eye bright scale race. What are you shouting here for? If you have the ability, Go charge in and kill Long Chen right now, sneered an expert from the Lightning Falcon race. The death of that blue eye bright scale man was like honey sweetening the hearts of the Lightning Falcon race. They truly felt amazing now. Any dissatisfaction that they had felt about Lei Yuner choosing Long Chen vanished. Hearing that he came from the High Firmament Academy and was actually the dean of a branch made them feel incomparably excited. It was your lightning falcon race that brought Long Chen here just to target the sacred pill hall, was it? shouted the leader of the blue eye bright scale race suddenly. At that moment, the expression of everyone from the lightning falcon race changed. Chapter 3422 Coming late, you're talking nonsense, the leader of the lightning falcon race shouted furiously. The blue eye bright scale race was actually so sinister, trying to create a conflict between the lightning falcon race and the sacred pill hall. This matter has nothing to do with the lightning falcon race. The lightning falcon race was simply tricked by Long Chen and can't be faulted. Even we were tricked. If you have to blame someone, blame my sacred pill hall for being careless. Unexpectedly, the whole master of the sacred pill hall actually spoke up in defense of the lightning falcon race. All powers within the integral heaven star field were within the control of the sacred pill hall. When it came to the movements of the lightning falcon, water mallard, mammoth divine elephant, and other races, the sacred pill hall knew them like the back of their hand. There was no way that the Lightning Falcon race had intentionally brought Long Chen over to target the Sacred Pill Hall. First, ignoring if it had any benefit to the Lightning Falcon race, with the simple heads of the demonic beast race, for them to use such a high-level scheme against the Sacred Pill Hall was a huge joke. So the Hall Master directly crushed this accusation of the blue eye bright scale race. Hall Master is wise. 
This matter truly has nothing to do with my lightning falcon race. Yuer is still young and has been bewitched by Long Chen. Please don't blame her, said the leader of the lightning falcon race. This random boss Long Sen had now been confirmed to be the dean of the seventh branch of the High Firmament Academy. In other words, Long Chen was a mortal enemy of the Sacred Pill Hall. So the Lightning Falcon Race's leader naturally didn't want to offend the Sacred Pill Hall, because without their pills, his Lightning Falcon Race would be crushed. Don't worry. The formation has been activated, and he is a turtle caught in a jar. Although we can't do anything to him within the Divine Lord Immortal Realm, once he leaves, he won't be able to escape. Furthermore, you are all overestimating him. Many coincidences were lined up in order for him to defeat the genius of the blue eye bright scale race. He only prevailed due to his scheming. Moreover, there are still many other heavenly geniuses waiting for him inside. HMPH, I want to see just what kind of trick the High Firmament Academy is playing to choose a four peak disciple to be a dean, sneered the hall master. He didn't think that a youngster like Long Chen was qualified to be a dean. It had to be known that while the High Firmament Academy had declined, it was still the oldest academy in the world, and the position of a dean from its branch sect was very illustrious. For a youngster to be one was a joke. The hall master was even somewhat excited by the status of Long Chen's. If he caught Long Chen, it would be of huge merit. The heavens had practically sent him a gift. That's right. If Long Chen encounters my race's eighth prince, he's definitely dead, said an expert of the mammoth divine elephant race arrogantly. I hope that they won't meet because I want to capture Long Chen alive. It's a shame that everything within the Divine Lord Immortal Realm is its own world, and we can't communicate with them inside. I suppose it will be up to his luck, sighed the Hall Master. Before this, the Sacred Pill Hall could change the laws of the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. However, it was impossible this time because they had also linked it to the core of the Integral Heaven Star Field. They didn't have the power to interfere with the laws of its operation. Now, the experts of the various races continued to stare at the desolate world in the screen of light. They saw Lei Yuner and Long Chen flying quickly toward the core. Lightning appeared up ahead and thunder rumbled. Experts were undergoing tribulation all around. They are weaker people who don't dare to enter the core region for fear that the heavenly tribulations of other people might crush them. So they choose to undergo tribulation in the outer regions, said Lei Yuner. Spreading her wings, she pierced straight through other people's tribulations, conveniently explaining this to Long Chen. Long Chen nodded in understanding. As they got closer to the core, the ripples of the heavenly Tao's grew stronger. So, the closer to the core, the greater the power of the tribulation. Without great power undergoing tribulation, here was courting death. More and more people were undergoing tribulation, and Lei Yuner suddenly said, Not good. There isn't anyone blocking us. They might have reached the core. What? Is it impossible to enter if others are already there? Asked Long Chen. I'm not sure either. But I understand that bitch Wu Ying. For her to not have sent people to block us, she must have other arrangements, said Lei Yuner. Lei Yuner was incredibly fast. However, the ripples of the heavenly Tao's continued to grow stronger. Now, the runes of the heavenly Tao's could practically be seen with the naked eye. It was possible to see the operation of the heavenly Tao's here. The spiritual Kai here was abundant, and the heavenly Tao's were complete. This was truly a sacred place for undergoing tribulation, providing endless benefits. In half an instant's stick's worth of time, they finally saw a giant spear of light. Lei Yuner hatefully said, Those bastards really did enter first. Just as she finished speaking, she reached the front of the sphere. It was a giant barrier. Inside it, Long Chen saw the familiar figures of Wu Ying, 
the mammoth divine elephant race's eighth prince, and others. There were sixteen of them sitting within the barrier. Divine light flowed around their bodies, and they seemed to be receiving some kind of blessing. Boom! A ray of light shot out of Lei Yuner's eyes and struck the barrier. As a result, a powerful explosion erupted, but the barrier didn't quiver in the slightest. Instead, Lei Yuner was actually sent flying back. This was a special divine ability of the Lightning Falcon race that possessed immense penetrative power. It was capable of breaking through all kinds of barriers. But it was like an ant trying to shake a tree when it struck this barrier. Bastards! Lei Yuner was enraged. Wu Ying and the others smiled inside the barrier as if they had already won. Idiot, did you not know? This barrier can only hold sixteen people at most. Once it's full, the barrier will automatically block others. Even world kings can't get in. Ha ha ha, you have no chance. Wu Ying laughed arrogantly. What a pity. We wanted to wait for you, but the barrier activated automatically. It's such a shame. Once I obtain the blessing of the heavenly Tao's, killing you will be as easy as killing a chicken. It won't be interesting at all. The eighth prince shook his head at Long Chen. It seemed that he really did feel regretful about it, yet he was also flaunting himself and taunting Long Chen. His expression sparked Long Chen's rage. He would never forget how the eighth prince had killed the ninth star heir. Killing intent then exploded out of Long Chen. After that, a lightning spear appeared in Lei Yuner's hand. She prepared to use the world extermination lightning radiance to break the barrier, but Long Chen stopped her. He knew that this barrier couldn't be broken with their power. Just as he prepared to take out his dagger, a gentle voice rang out within his mind. Do you want to enter? Who are you? Long Chen was startled. Chapter 3423 Trusted by the core of the star field, I am the core of this star field. You shouldn't feel unfamiliar. I can sense the mark of another star field's core on you, replied that gentle voice. The voice was like a spring breeze flowing through him, like the call of the dome of the heavens, like the murmuring of the plains, mountains, and rivers. This voice could make a person forget all their vexations. The core of the star field. Long Chen's heart pounded, and he instantly thought of the martial heaven continent. Its mother core had entrusted the fate of the entire world to him. However, that was the greatest shame of his life. He had failed to live up to her trust, unable to protect the martial heaven continent, or the martial heaven continent's people. If it hadn't been for the dragon expert interfering, he and everyone else would have died. Suddenly, Long Chen noticed that everything around him was frozen in place. Time had stopped. Lei Yuner still had her infuriated expression, and the people inside the barrier were still sneering at them as if they had won. Even the flowing runes on top of the barrier were frozen. Long Chen looked at the divine light flowing out from within. Like strips of cloth, they condensed into the form of a green-robed woman. She had a pretty face. Although she wouldn't be called a supreme beauty, she gave off a very naturally familiar feeling as if she was family. Anyone would instantly trust her without reservation. Time and space were frozen. Only Long Chen and this woman could move. The woman then walked up to Long Chen. Can I ask something of you? Go ahead said Long Chen directly. Long Chen instantly thought of the martial heaven continent when he saw her. She possessed the same kind of aura that was willing to sacrifice everything for others. Long Chen could fully trust her. Navalun come he had failed to live up to the martial heaven continent's trust. So, Long Chen had a feeling like he was willing to walk through fire and water for this woman's request as if he would be willing to die ten thousand times just to accomplish what she asked of him. I want you to destroy this divine lord immortal realm. Don't let it continue harming people. Harming people? The woman nodded. Yes. 
This place was made artificially to excessively extract the spiritual chi of the entire star field. It is overdrafting the potential of the star field. In the future, there will not be enough spiritual chi to replenish the spiritual chi they are extracting. It won't even take a few thousand years for this place to become a wasteland. Lately, they have gone even farther, extracting the energy of my core in order to brand themselves with my mark. They think that this mark can allow them to obtain the support of the heavenly Tao's. However, forcibly extracting my energy will rapidly age the star field and also infect them with karma. Although they'll get some benefits, they will harm all their descendants and all the inhabitants of this star field. Moreover, those who forcibly obtain the mark of the heavenly Tao's from me will be rejected by other star fields. Within the cycle of karma, their entire races might be destroyed. Only now did Long Chen learn that undergoing tribulation in the core of this star field was like drinking poison to quench thirst. The woman continued, as the protector spirit of the integral heaven star field, I love everyone in this land. I don't want them to destroy themselves. I hope you can help me destroy the core of the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. Don't let them walk further on this path and destroy themselves. She looked at Long Chen pleadingly. Long Chen had seen the same desire in the spirit of the Martial Heaven Continent. He couldn't help but demand, Why are you going to treat them so well when they harm you like this? This is my nature. I cannot hate them no matter what they do to me. I simply hope that they can live in peace. The woman shook her head and sighed. Can you tell me what's going on here? What was it like before? How long has it been since the Divine Lord Mortal Realm was built? Asked Long Chen. Long Chen instantly rattled off many of his questions because he felt that this place was built to be a trap. After that, she explained that the integral heaven star field used to belong to the human race. Later on, devils attacked, slaughtering the human race. But curiously, they directly left after killing the humans. Thereafter, the sacred pill hall came and announced that this place was reclaimed by Lord Brahma. They even set up a divine steel as proof of his contributions. As the integral heaven star field had become a peaceful place, quite a few humans returned. But many of those humans had their own faiths and were unwilling to worship Lord Brahma. Afterward, the Blood Kill Hall appeared and secretly assassinated the people unwilling to worship Lord Brahma, using this method to unify this region. However, after another few thousand years, they found that this was no solution. The human race had many faiths. Moreover, a large batch of demonic beast races had come and found a new home here. Seeing this, the sacred pill hall switched methods. As the overlord of the integral heaven star field, they only sold medicinal pills to the demonic beast race and encouraged them to mate with the human race, resulting in the current state of the star field. As for the divine lord immortal realm, it was created specially for the demonic beast race. The stronger someone's physical body, the greater the benefits of undergoing tribulation here. This was how this human territory had become the territory of demonic beasts. Everything was done secretly by the sacred pill hall. But as for their goal, even the protector spirit was unaware of it. I just knew these bastards were cooking up a scheme cursed Long Chen hatefully. The sacred pill hall was overdrafting the energy of this entire world just to draw others over and promote mating between the human and the demonic beast race. This was definitely a scheme. It was very possible that they were using this method to spread an epidemic. After all, the humans and demonic beasts didn't know the truth and thought of the sacred pill hall as an existence with overwhelming capabilities. They thought that the latter could help them produce many great experts. On the surface, the sacred pill hall didn't ask for anything. They simply acted like good people who didn't expect anything in return, tricking experts from other domains by welcoming them. 
the experts might even be welcomed with wide open arms so that they could create more worlds like the divine lord immortal realm if that happened then the immortal world was truly doomed furthermore the protector spirit had said that after the devils attacked the integral heaven star field they immediately retreated and the sacred pill hall directly took over not even a ghost would believe that they hadn't discussed it beforehand the protector spirit saw everything clearly but she had no method to stop things that was why she asked long chen for help long chen also had the mark of the martial heaven continents spirit so she trusted him over others although long chen wasn't sure what lord brahma's ultimate goal was he knew that it definitely wasn't anything good all right i will help you but i'll also need your help with one thing said long chen chapter three thousand four hundred twenty four positions switched go ahead as long as you don't ask me to kill i will agree to anything said the protector spirit sincerely i will destroy this world but there are some old fellows outside that i can't beat i'll need you to send me away from them when the time comes said long chen no problem i definitely won't let you die i swear on the mark of the star field on your body she promised good i am going to start destroying this world long chen's blood kai began to circulate quickly wait i'll pull them out and bring you in the spiritual kai inside of this space is like my blood sending you in can count as repaying your favor when you go to other star fields as long as their cores are kind they will feel closer to you and their heavenly tao energy will also grow closer to you she said vanishing once she vanished time started flowing again lei yuner was pointing and pursing wu ying while wu ying sneered arrogantly in reply infuriating lei yuner until she stamped her feet what do we do we can't get in lei yuner shook long chen's hand anxiously don't worry they are about to scram said long chen calmly you think that we'll leave keep dreaming once i have the mark of the heavenly daos i'll immediately come out and kill you sneered wu ying and showed the two of them her palm there was a rune on her palm it was currently translucent but there was a small portion that had become red it was like blood entering her body seeing that rune long chen instantly understood the will of the integral heaven star fields protector spirit this formation was truly extracting her blood wu ying's aura was already several times stronger than before even through the formation they could sense her powerful blood kai this rune was strengthening her physical body however her sneer suddenly stiffened she was shocked to find that the mysterious energy flowing into her body from that room was starting to flow back out what's going on it wasn't just wu ying who was shocked the other experts inside also noticed the same phenomenon the runes on their bodies were growing dim and vanished in the end lei yuner was pleasantly surprised she didn't know what was going on but seeing their expressions she knew that something unexpected had happened let alone them even the sacred pill halls people in the outside world were stunned they also didn't understand why such a strange phenomenon would occur suddenly the barrier quivered wu ying and the others cried out as they were sent flying out of the barrier however wu wing in particular was flying straight toward long chen and lei yuner long chen almost instinctively slapped her sending her flying back lei yuner was shocked the barrier was now empty so long chen laughed and pulled her into the barrier with him wu ying the eighth prince and the others were all enraged they didn't even know what had happened and they charged back at the barrier as a result they were all flatly rejected ha 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 you fools you don't know anything i am a relative of the sacred pill hall this is their special treatment for me did you think that they would leave the good stuff to you laughed long chen arrogantly from inside the barrier after that all the experts in the plaza couldn't help looking at the sacred pill hall's people 
the hall master coldly shouted he spouting nonsense the sacred pill hall was a mortal enemy of the high firmament academy since that was the case how could the hall master give long chen special treatment but as for why such a thing would occur even they didn't know wu ying the eighth prince and the others repeatedly attacked the barrier but it was incomparably tough they were unable to break it ha 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 now it's your turn to be angered p f f t lei yuner was clapping and sneering at them when she suddenly coughed up blood seeing this scene long chen was startled lei yuner's face turned pale as she had been injured ah the power here needs to be shared between sixteen people now that it's just the two of you she can't endure it send her out that woman's voice rang out in his mind long chen then sent lei yuner out of the barrier with a shove that scene enraged the leader of the lightning falcon race this bastard repaying kindness with enmity he completely betrayed yuner's kindness all the lightning falcon race's experts cursed long chen furiously upon seeing that the moment long chen saw the greatest treasure he wanted to devour it himself even wu ying and the others found it unexpected however they quickly reached the same line of thought as the rest of the lightning falcon race lei yuner had been abandoned only lei yuner was revitalized once she was thrown out inside the barrier it felt like her head was about to split apart once she was out her mind instantly cleared up she also heard long chen's instructions in her mind after that she clenched her fists only she knew that her rune had appeared on her left and right palms my mark requires powerful spiritual strength to receive demonic beasts don't specialize in this regard so they need more people to share it but you possess soul energy as vast as a sea it would have been no problem for you to take it all but you split two portions with her from this it's clear that you're a good person who cares deeply about emotions the woman's voice once more rang out in his mind at the same time sixteen rays of divine light illuminated long chen forming a giant halo around him i admit to caring about emotions but i am definitely not a good person said long chen shaking his head he actually disdained being a good person perhaps the demonic beasts were being used by the sacred pill hall but long chen was not a good person who could forgive that eighth prince of the mammoth divine elephant race who had killed the nine star heir long chen wouldn't let him off just because he was unaware of the truth the divine light slowly merged into long chen's body and his mind was refreshed it felt like the world had suddenly become kinder toward him the laws seemed so much closer to him now you are naturally rejected by the heavenly dows but my blessing will lessen that rejection that is the only thing i can do for you she said her voice sounding a bit guilty when her rune merged into long chen's body she noticed that it was as if long chen was cursed by the heavenly dows her power could only help him a little bit so she felt apologetic that's enough i've never experienced such a moving feeling before thank you thank you for showing me just how beautiful it is to not be rejected long chen clenched his fists this heavenly dao rune didn't make his physical body grow stronger but it allowed him to control even more heavenly dao energy this was something that he hadn't dared to even dream of obtaining before just then cracks appeared in the barrier wu ying and the others instantly saw that and became crazy staring at long chen like hungry wolves but the barrier shattered with a howl the eighth prince of the mammoth divine elephant race was the first to charge at long chen inferior human die chapter three thousand four hundred twenty five dragon soul roar the mammoth divine elephant race's eighth prince roared the good fortune that had originally been theirs had been snatched away by long chen so how could he not be enraged as his blood kai soared 
ripples appeared and astral winds raged. A heaven-shattering fist then smashed toward Long Chen. Ignorant fool, today is the day of your death. No one within the nine heavens and ten lands can save you. Long Chen's suppressed anger instantly ignited. Upon thinking of the nine star air, his heart felt like it was being bitten by vipers. The nine star air had had his violet tower star crippled, so he had accepted his death. No matter how great Long Chen's abilities were, there was no way he could save someone who wanted to die. Although Long Chen knew that the Nine Star Heir would have died in any case, he still could not forgive the Eighth Prince. He didn't care. Die. Long Chen and the Eighth Prince roared at the same time. Their killing intent caused the world to change color. Both their eyes were scarlet. Both their fists collided like two stars. As a result, the void was shattered and the sun and moon turned dim. Even space-time was twisted. After that collision, both of them were knocked back and took nine steps back, every step causing the ground beneath their feet to collapse. The land was instantly ruined. The other experts were directly blown back by the shockwaves of their power. They were all stunned, unable to imagine how a human was able to compete with the physical body of the eight prince of the mammoth divine elephant race. Moreover, Long Chen wasn't inferior at all. It had to be known that the mammoth divine elephant race's greatest pride, the thing that allowed them to stand at the peak of the integral heaven star field, was their immense, monstrous power. It wasn't just the experts within the divine lord immortal realm that were shocked. Even the spectating experts outside were flabbergasted. Every single one of them was profoundly aware of just how powerful the mammoth divine elephant race's bodies were. Now, a human actually managed to fight evenly against the eighth prince, relying purely on the power of his physical body. This was unbelievable. Not too bad. But it means nothing. He will still die declared the leader of the mammoth divine elephant race after recovering from his shock. Inside the divine lord immortal realm, Lei Yuner almost cried out in delight when she saw Long Chan able to fight the eighth prince evenly. Long Chan was even stronger than she had anticipated, so she grew even prouder of her vision and choice. I didn't expect that an ant like you would possess such power. That is beyond my expectations. However, it doesn't matter. You are still an ant in front of the mammoth divine elephant race. After that, the eighth prince spread his arms, and the space behind him collapsed. A giant elephant then came out of that collapsed space. It was as if it had come from ancient times. A desolate aura exuded out of it. The eighth prince had summoned his manifestation. When his manifestation appeared, an elephant's cry shook the world, collapsing mountains and quivering the earth. In that instant, the eighth prince's aura rose by multiple times. Standing in the air, he looked down on Long Chen like a king looking at a peasant. Human ant, are you prepared to die? shouted the eighth prince. Suddenly, space shuddered, and Lei Yuner appeared beside Long Chen, lightning circulating around her entire body. Don't worry, I'll fight with you. We can definitely win. Afraid that Long Chen wouldn't be able to handle the Eighth Prince alone, Lei Yuner came to his aid. Little slut of the Lightning Falcon race, your opponent is me. You aren't qualified to stop the Eighth Prince from killing whoever he wants. Wu Ying sneered at Lei Yuner. Little duck, who is afraid of you? In a bit, I'll use my new trump card to kill you shouted Lei Yuner. However, Long Chen shoved Lei Yuner suddenly. With a grunt, Lei Yuner was sent flying into the distance. Just as Lei Yuner felt lost, Long Chen's voice rang out in her mind. Yuner, I'm going to start fighting for real now. It would be best if you don't get close to me, or you might get caught up in it. I know you want to help. But I just want to tell you that the greatest help you can give me is to protect yourself, understand. Lei Yuner didn't understand. 
but she obediently nodded and retreated further seeing that wu ying smiled with a very pleased expression she considered this as lei yun fleeing from her threat are you ready i'm going to attack currently i am on the verge of making my breakthrough if i advance to the divine lord realm and the four peaks merge the power of my physical body will instantly soar a hundred times furthermore i have the blessing of the mammoth divine elephant races heroic spirits i will awaken our ancient divine abilities at that time killing you would be meaningless to die by my hands is an honor for you as you will have the same fate as a nine star heir you should thank me sneered the eighth prince Fokov. upon hearing this long chen's head buzzed and his anger exploded after that a golden pillar of light soared into the sky and one hundred eight thousand scales appeared on long chen's body a terrifying dragon might then crashed down a majestic dragon roar resounded through the air containing boundless killing intent and a desire to slaughter the entire world the golden dragon battle armor was not summoned by long chen this time it had automatically appeared when the pressure of the mammoth divine elephant race tried to lock onto Long Chen, his dragon blood was provoked. So, the instant Long Chen couldn't control himself any longer, it appeared. Long Chen seemed to have put on a set of golden battle armor, and each of his scales had a golden dragon flowing across it. It looked like the dragons were about to charge out of the bindings of the scales and directly eliminate the eighth prince dragon soul the demonic beasts outside the divine lord immortal realm jumped in shock when they saw that in the immortal world dragon blood dragon scales dragon bones and dragon teeth were all treasures although they were precious they were obtainable however a dragon soul could not be obtained a dragon soul referred to when a true dragon died and its soul essence didn't disperse but instead condensed within a part of its body. Normally, that part of the body was the reverse scale. But if someone were to extract the essence blood inside the reverse scale, the dragon soul would have nothing to keep it going and would naturally disperse. Because of it, only an expert that had inherited the will of the true dragon could possibly obtain the dragon soul. The dragon race was prideful, especially the true dragon race. There were no records of a dragon soul accompanying someone else. It was only a legend. Hence, they hadn't expected to see it here, in the body of a human. Ha ha ha, I didn't expect that you actually have true dragon essence blood. It's mine. The eighth prince laughed delightedly as his grid was sparked. True dragon essence blood was a priceless treasure to any race. Do you think you'll have the life to take it? Navaloon, Kan Long Chen's killing intent was overflowing. With a single step, he was like a bolt of lightning shooting toward the eighth prince, smashing his foot toward him. Chapter 3426 Your Two Naive Boom The eighth prince raised his arms to block Long Chen's kick. At this moment, the void shuddered and cracks appeared in the air. The weight of Long Chen's foot was like the pressure of an entire world. As a result, the eighth prince's arms shuddered and his body began to sink. The void rumbled as if it was about to explode. The mammoth divine elephant race is nothing more than a bug in front of the true dragon race. What right do you have to be arrogant? Long Chen was frowning with anger. Now, his golden dragon scales were shining brightly, and his body was like the sun. You're just a little human. You are only lucky to obtain true dragon essence blood, but you dare to act arrogant in front of me. The eighth prince was enraged. Affected by the dragon might, his spiritual fluctuations were growing unsteady. It was affecting his combat power. The mammoth divine elephant race might be considered an ancient species, but in front of the true dragon, its bloodline was still suppressed. It didn't matter how strong he was. In front of the divine might of a true dragon, 
he would always feel uneasy. That one bit of unease resulted in him being unable to unleash his full potential. Long Chen pressed down with his foot, and the eighth prince sank into the ground. Everyone could see that in terms of pure power, the eighth prince was a level weaker than Long Chen. Just then, Wu Ying and the other experts that had been inside the barrier began to creep closer. Scram! He's just a lowly human. I don't need anyone else's help, shouted the eighth prince. He had his own pride and didn't want others to interfere in his battle. His mammoth divine elephant race was claimed to be number one in power. No one could even come close to them. But now a human was suppressing him. He could not accept it. It was nothing more than luck. Do you think that relying on dragon might to suppress me will leave me helpless? You're too naive. Oh. Suddenly, an explosive sound rang out within the eighth prince's body. It was like something had shattered and endless power gushed out of his body. Long Chen was instantly forced back by that wave of power. Rumbling rang out. After that, lightning rained down from the heavens, and the eighth prince's body rapidly absorbed it. His aura crazily grew. He had actually started his tribulation. Due to the dragon might's suppression, he had no choice but to do this. Only after he advanced to the Divine Lord realm could he fight under its suppression. Influenced by him, the other experts also broke through their shackles and started their tribulations. Eight Prince, kill him quickly. Perhaps if you kill him now, the heavenly Dao Mark can be taken back, shouted the expert from the Golden Barbarian Bull race. The heavenly Dao Mark had been absorbed by Long Chen. Killing him now might cause it to be free for grabs again. Lei Yuner was also undergoing her tribulation. But she was further away, not knowing if she should come help Long Chen or not. Yuner, call your friends. Tell them to get as far away from here as possible, transmitted Long Chen. Just then, the eighth prince came charging over. Your dragon might is useless against me. Let's see just how you will fight me now. Wu Ying and the others had surrounded them. Furthermore, various experts from the large demonic beast races were summoned, and they formed a giant encirclement. Clearly, these experts wanted to trap Long Chen here so that he couldn't flee. They viewed the heavenly Dao mark that he had just attained as a must-have. The heavenly Dao mark might have been absorbed, but as long as Long Chen didn't finish his tribulation, it wouldn't merge with him perfectly. If he was killed before going through his tribulation, there was still a chance that they could obtain it. If a person wants to die, not even a god can save them. Oh, Long Chen snorted. An explosive sound then rang out from within his body. After that, endless power flooded every inch of him. His flesh, his meridians, and his souls were like desserts that were finally nourished by water. They crazily grew in power. His 108,000 stars quivered and cracked apart. At the same time, Long Chen felt endless energy crazily being absorbed out of heaven and earth and pouring into the stars. The stars repeatedly broke and grew, broke and grew, repeatedly getting stronger. They were absorbing the outside world's power to strengthen themselves. Furthermore, at this moment, Long Chen's body became so full of explosive power that it felt like if he didn't release it, he would explode. Seeing the Eighth Prince charging at him, he unleashed a single punch. Boom! The earth shook. The Eighth Prince came charging in aggressively, only to be sent flying by Long Chen's punch. He then smashed into the encirclement of demonic beasts, leaving a bloody path of death in their midst. Wu Ying and the others were shocked. Now that Long Chen was making his breakthrough into the Divine Lord realm, he seemed like a different person. His aura was as vast as a sea, and his might shook the heavens. It was as if the very heavens were about to collapse, as if the world was turning dark. However, very quickly, they noticed that it wasn't as if the world was turning dark. The world really was getting dark. 
They then looked up. The sky was originally filled with lightning, but now there was simply an endless sea of black clouds. The roaring lightning above their heads seemed to have lost all their power. They were like rabbits that had been bearing their claws only for a wild dragon to slowly approach them. They cowered. What is that? Everyone within and outside the Divine Lord Immortal Realm was stunned. Those black clouds covering the sky made even world kings quiver. They had never seen such a terrifying heavenly tribulation before. The tribulation clouds completely covered up everyone else's tribulation cloud. In fact, they even covered up the entire Divine Lord Immortal Realm. Other people's tribulation clouds were normally violet but these tribulation clouds were pitch black. Some of the experts undergoing tribulation suddenly found that the lightning crashing toward them became weak and dissipated. Their lightning then merged into those black clouds and vanished, being absorbed by these domineering black clouds. Those experts undergoing tribulation were dumbfounded. They had finished having the lightning temper their bodies before their tribulations ended. They couldn't break through like this. The black tribulations slowly curled together. At the center, a giant vortex appeared, and it was like an eye staring at Long Chen. Heavens, it's Long Chen's heavenly tribulation. Only then did Bo's world kings react. They were filled with disbelief. Chapter 3427 Heavenly Tribulation Descends the Eye of the Tribulation Clouds was pointed right at Long Chen. This was his heavenly tribulation. How can this be? Even when we underwent tribulation, we didn't cause such a terrifying phenomenon, cried a world king with a quivering voice. This was an absolutely terrifying heavenly tribulation. Just in terms of range, it had eclipsed a world king's tribulation. This completely toppled their current understanding. It is said, that the stronger the heavenly tribulation, the stronger the target is. Can it be that this Long Chen is so powerful? No one answered him. Well, no one could answer. Even though they were world kings, they had never seen such a thing. Furthermore, the demonic beasts rarely read through ancient tomes. Most of their knowledge came from their memories. The important information they needed was passed down through inheritances, but those inheritances mostly pertained only to their races. Thus, their knowledge was definitely more limited than others. Even though they were prideful, they had to admit that they were lacking compared to the human race in terms of learning. Thus, they looked toward the sacred pill hall's people, wanting to find the answer on their faces. However, the hall master's expression was also one of shock, no different than theirs. Even he had never seen such a terrifying heavenly tribulation. Now, the tribulation clouds began to condense. As the black clouds clumped together, a terrifying pressure came crashing down. Even through the formation, these people could sense it. That aura made even world kings quiver. This heavenly tribulation contained endless destructive power, which was the will of the heavenly Tao's. No one could resist it. It was the might of the heavens that had to be obeyed. Multicolored lights appeared within the black clouds once they condensed. Those were bolts of lightning. They were like lightning dragons swimming within the clouds. All the experts undergoing tribulation within the divine lord immortal realm stared up in horror at those tribulation clouds. The might of this heavenly tribulation made them smell the scent of death. At this moment, space shuddered, and the eighth prince came charging back. He had been sent flying by Long Chen and smashed into the earth. So by the time he came back out, the skies had changed color. As a result, the eighth prince's fury suddenly vanished, replaced with confused perplexion. He stared up at the black clouds. He had been intending on attacking Long Chen, but the shock of seeing those black clouds made him forget what he was doing. He was shocked to find that his own tribulation clouds had been devoured. The lightning falling on him gradually faded until there was nothing left. 
Wu Ying and the others were also dumbfounded. They looked from those black clouds to the icy Long Chen. They didn't know what had just happened. Brat, what are you doing? roared Wu Ying uneasily. What am I doing? Are you blind? I'm undergoing tribulation. You frogs at the bottom of a well, you dare to look down on the human race. Long Chen clasped his hands behind his back and sneered at them. You fools, I came to the integral heaven star field just to cause trouble for the sacred pill hall. But you fools just had to repeatedly provoke and enrage me. Since you wish to die so badly, I will accomplish your goals for you. Following that, the black clouds quivered and multicolored swords came raining down, filling this entire world. Ah, uh, some experts dodged the swords, which then stabbed into the earth, leaving bottomless holes. However, some were incapable of dodging them and were struck. Their bodies instantly exploded on contact with the swords. They screamed and were left with only Yuan spirits. Having lost their bodies, their Yuan spirits were incapable of dodging for much longer either before being blown apart. The torrent of swords filled the entire Divine Lord Immortal Realm. This place instantly became a land of death. It was hell on earth. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to die. Countless experts cried out in terror. They wanted to flee, but the lightning tribulation was endless. Where were they supposed to run to? Although the tribulation clouds had condensed a bit, they still covered the majority of the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. The spiritual Kai was more abundant here in the core, which was why everyone was gathered here. As a result, all of them were under the cover of Long Chen's heavenly tribulation. In the panic, it was unknown how many experts were slain by the torrent of swords. As for some experts, after a moment of panic, they quickly recovered their weights and started to fight the lightning swords. When they broke the swords apart, multicolored lightning runes appeared. When they absorbed those runes, they were pleasantly surprised to find that the heavenly Tao energy contained within these lightning runes was many times stronger than the lightning runes from their own tribulations. After absorbing this lightning, their physical bodies rapidly strengthened. Even their spiritual strength improved. So, some of the stronger people began to spread out, trying to absorb more of the lightning. So that's the case. Due to absorbing too many heavenly Tao runes, you ended up summoning such a tribulation. This heavenly tribulation contains endless heavenly Tao energy that can nourish the body and soul. It's over ten times stronger than an ordinary heavenly tribulation. It's too bad that you're just a human. How much could you possibly absorb? Ah, fine, I won't kill you for now. Once the heavenly tribulation is over, I'll take your life. The eighth prince stood in the air, allowing the lightning to strike his body. It simply shattered on contact with him and was absorbed. He smiled in delight, seemingly having seen through everything. It wasn't just the eighth prince. Other experts also did the same thing. The lightning swords might be powerful, but these experts were the peak heavenly geniuses of their respective races. They also had the bodies of demonic beasts. For these peak heavenly geniuses, lightning of this level was unable to harm them. Navaloon, come after blocking the destructive power of the lightning, pure thunder force would enter their bodies, giving them a pleasant surprise. At this time, the experts watching heard the eighth prince's smart deduction. If this unprecedented heavenly tribulation was related to the world core, then this effect was understandable. However, the hall master didn't quite believe that. He didn't think that this matter was so simple. Furthermore, he was starting to get a bad feeling. Unfortunately for him, now that the Divine Lord Immortal Realm was linked to the core of the star field, even their sacred pill hall could not interfere. Otherwise, if the slightest bit of the core's power leaked, the entire auspicious cloud domain might be instantly destroyed, and all living creatures on it would be wiped out of existence. Hence, all he could do was watch. 
I didn't expect there to be such a benefit. Then let him continue struggling at death's door for a while. Within the divine lord immortal realm, Wu Ying was also smiling as she sensed the lightning nourishing her body. This was a very rare opportunity. If they killed Long Chen, then the heavenly tribulation might vanish. Thus they were no longer in a rush to move. Long Chen sneered. A lightning rune slowly faded on his arm, silently merging into the giant heavenly tribulation. As for Lei Yuner, she actually chose to stealthily slip out of the core region and get further away. Chapter 3000 Four hundred twenty-eight. The care of the heavenly Tao's multicolored lightning filled the world with color, but it was the color of death. Countless experts who thought themselves powerful had died to the lightning swords, not being able to resist them. The weak began to ask for aid from the strong, because these lightning swords were unable to pose a fatal threat to those experts. After that, these weaker people could absorb the broken lightning runes for themselves under the experts' protection, allowing their realms to rapidly grow. At the same time, countless weaker experts fled toward the outer edge. The lightning at the edge was not as wild as in the core, allowing even these weaker experts to absorb it. However, what surprised countless people was that Lei Yuner had also fled to the outer edge. Furthermore, the lightning falcon race's experts and their followers also came with her. He he, when danger comes, the birds fly from the nest. Wasn't it said that the lightning falcon race was very prideful, very loyal? Wu Ying sneered as she saw them leave. Lei Yuner was enraged and had an urge to directly charge back and kill this woman who vexed her so much, but she managed to endure. After her bloodline summons, the lightning falcon race's hundreds of thousands of experts had fled to the outer edges while everyone else was doing the opposite. The lightning at the core was stronger and more beneficial for them. As a result, the core region was packed with millions and millions of demonic beasts, and they were surrounding Long Chen. Lei Yuner hadn't just brought the lightning falcon race away, but also their subordinates and those with good relationships with them. Some powerful experts amongst their midst were still hesitating, though. They didn't want to leave. They wanted to stay at the core. What time is it for you to be so blind? Don't get drawn into their battle, shouted Lei Yuner at them. The contempt on Wu Ying and the others' faces grew when they heard that. They knew that Lei Yuner was afraid and didn't want to participate in their battle. Only then did those experts of the flying beast race leave the core. It was only after her shout that they realized that the experts at the core were led by the mammoth divine elephant race. There was also the scaled beast race. Those people would definitely target them if a battle were to erupt. After thinking through that, the flying beast race's experts all retreated to Lei Yuner's side. Princess, won't master be in danger? Ying Bakong came to Lei Yuner's side, feeling worried. It was your master who told me to do this. Hurry up and gather your race's people. Otherwise, if they die, don't blame me for not informing you, said Lei Yuner. Ying Bakong shook his head. They mocked and insulted me. If I go over, I would be asking for humiliation. Life and death are up to fate. They can't blame others. When Long Chen was in trouble with a spee, Ying Bakong had asked the other members of his race and his past brothers to lend him money. However, he only received insults. Not only did they not lend him money, but they actually harmed him. Because of this, his heart was already cold toward them. Fine. It won't be long. Keep getting further away. Your master said that the further we get, the better, said Lei Yuner. Lei Yuner continued to lead the flying beast race's experts away. They watched from a distance as if they really were intent on not getting drawn into this chaotic battle. Oh, uh, outside of the Divine Lord Immortal Realm, the mammoth Divine Elephant Race's leader laughed. I thought life forms with Thunder Force were all direct and loyal. 
It seems that this isn't the case, right? These words were clearly directed at the Lightning Falcon race. The Lightning Falcon race had a flawless reputation, not only amongst the Flying Beast race, but also the entire integral Heaven Star field. The main reason for that was their loyalty. They always kept their word. Lei Yuner was allied with Long Chen, but she simply left now. Hence, countless people sneered at the Lightning Falcon race's leader. It wasn't just those within the Divine Lord Mortal Realm that were targeting them. It was the same here. HMPH, are you blind? That fellow Long Chen wants to devour the karmic luck of the heavenly Daos all by himself. He is shameless and contemptible. Yuner saw through who he is and doesn't want our people to be drawn into it. How is that wrong? Do you think that my lightning falcon race is so easy to bully? Fuck! Why don't we just start a war right now and see if my lightning falcon race has a single person afraid of dying? Raged the leader of the lightning falcon race. He had been pushed to the edge of his restraint. However, the others didn't dare to push him too far. They all knew that once this old fellow erupted, he really would start a slaughter without caring about the consequences. It was always those who didn't care about their lives that were the most dangerous. If these experts were to fight the Lightning Falcon race here, the Lightning Falcon race would definitely drag a few others down with them. So, even if they had numbers advantage, they didn't dare to press them too hard. Everyone, calm your anger. Just watch. Due to absorbing too much of the karmic luck of the Starfield's core, Long Chen has caused a change in the heavenly tribulation. We are witnessing history here, said the whole master. Only then did the others shut their mouths and continue watching. The millions and millions of demonic beasts within the core were essentially the young elites of the integral heaven star field. They were the future of the integral heaven star field. Now, these future emperors had completely sealed this space, and the only one caught inside was Long Chen. However, his gaze was indifferent, as if he didn't even see these experts surrounding him. His aura was like a sea, like a mountain, yet also like the starry sky of the cosmos. It was boundless. At this moment, he was sensing the changes in himself. He felt the energy of heaven and earth pouring into his body, strengthening his body, nourishing his soul, and cultivating his 108,000 stars. Navaloon, come this was his first time, feeling the heavenly Tao's treating him so warmly. He knew that the core of the star field was helping him. His 108,000 stars were constantly breaking and being reborn stronger. As they got stronger, so did his physical body. However, that couldn't be seen with the naked eye. Only he could sense his power crazily rising. There was no pain. In fact, he didn't feel anything off at all. This feeling of peace could make a person forget all their worries. Long Chen seemed to be able to see the internal world of the core of the star field. He could sense her feelings. Just then, the tribulation clouds in the sky rumbled, waking Long Chen up. Long Chen then looked up to see countless lightning life forms descending from the heavens, howling toward him. The tribulation has finally started. Long Chen smiled. This time, he had ample confidence. Chapter 3429 Lightning Gates Countless Lightning Beasts Came Flying Out of the Heavens all of them were three hundred meters long and wrapped in lightning. Now, they collapsed on everyone within the heavenly tribulation. As a result, a war instantly erupted, and all the demonic beasts started battling the lightning beasts. However, the latter was very powerful. An attack from them could directly smash apart ordinary experts of the demonic beasts. Hence, the demonic beasts instantly panicked and fled, having their stronger experts face them. Only first-rate experts were able to block these lightning beasts. After the lightning beasts were killed, they transformed into lightning runes that were several times stronger than before. 
Moreover, those runes were able to quickly increase the power of their physical bodies. Hence, these experts grew even more excited. As they killed the lightning beasts, some of the weaker experts managed to help and launch their attacks, while the weakest at the very bottom could only absorb the leftover runes that slipped through the others. However, a few thousand experts at the very core didn't move at all. They kept a close eye on Long Chen, as these lightning beasts didn't make them worried at all. They were only worried about Long Chen running away. Ultimately, what they wanted was the heavenly Dao mark in his body. If even the heavenly tribulation had such benefits, then the heavenly Dao mark must be way more valuable. This heavenly Dao mark could be split into sixteen portions. But once Long Chen was slain, it would become a masterless object, and they would have a chance to obtain it. It would be up to whose luck was better. When the lightning beasts approached them, these experts would casually slay them. These experts were the top existences here. Even if they couldn't beat the eighth prince, Wu Ying, and the others, they were only one slight level below them. So these lightning beasts were unable to threaten them. In the distance, Lei Yuner led the flying beast races experts through a slaughter on the outer edges. As a master of thunder force, Lei Yuner killed countless lightning beasts with every wave of her hand. After they were killed, they transformed into runes and flowed down until every member of the flying beast race managed to absorb a portion. But as Lei Yuner and the other top experts of their flying beast race slaughtered the lightning beasts, they didn't absorb the runes. They left them to the weaker members of their races. After killing and killing, Lei Yuner started to feel that something was wrong. These lightning beasts had started off at the early stage of the Divine Lord realm. But in just a few breaths' time, the new lightning beasts were bordering the mid-stage. After a bit more time, they reached the late stage. When their power reached this stage, the ones following Lei Yuner in slaying them were starting to find it taxing. Lei Yuner looked toward the core of the heavenly tribulation. Things were in chaos there. As the lightning beasts grew stronger, fewer and fewer people were capable of fighting them. Those first-rate experts no longer had the ability to protect others. The weaklings were quickly killed. They were completely unable to resist those powerful lightning beasts. In the chaos, countless experts tried to flee to the outer edges. While it was a nice spot, they had forgotten one thing. Just how big was the scope of Long Chen's tribulation? Being in the core, they were unable to pass through this massive tribulation and escape. So, in just a moment, they were drowned by the lightning beasts. We can't endure this heavenly tribulation. Please bring us out. I'm begging you. Some of the weaklings began to plead with the stronger members of their race for aid. However, those experts could barely protect themselves. They didn't have the power to protect these weaklings as well within the endless tide of lightning beasts. As for the peak experts that still possess the power to bring them out, they were intent on keeping an eye on Long Chen, ignoring everyone else. In the end, emotional ties between demonic beasts were not very strong. Even direct members of their families weren't that close to them, as they only cared about power. When it came to their children, if the latter were weak, they wouldn't care about their life and death. They were only concerned about their powerful descendants. Thus, the pleading of the weaker members of their race fell on deaf ears. In front of profit and opportunity, the lives of weak members of their race were as worthless as blades of grass to them. They were unwilling to lose the chance of obtaining the heavenly down mark to save these weaklings. Thus, the cries of the weak gradually vanished as they were slain. Only the strong members of a race could continue and lead the race, changing the fate of an entire race. The weak were meaningless. Moreover, no one would stand from the angle of a virtuous saint to criticize others here. This was the attitude of the demonic beast race. Now, 
Lei Yuner and Ying Bakong knew why Long Chen had told them to leave the core region in advance. It was to give the weaker members of their race a way out. Ying Bakong watched as the members of his race were killed by the lightning beasts. He didn't know what he felt inside, but there was also nothing he could do. These people wouldn't know who was a good person and who was a bad person until death came for them. Lei Yuner continued to lead her people through the outer edge. Here, the tribulation was slightly weaker than at the core, so she was still in control. After another half an incense stick's worth of time, Lei Yuner was shocked to find that the lightning beasts had gradually leaped in power to the level of an immortal king. Furthermore, due to being manifestations of lightning, their attacks were sharp and fierce. They might be even more destructive than an ordinary immortal king expert. It had only been an instant's stick's worth of time from the start, but Long Chen's heavenly tribulation had increased in power to such a level. Lei Yuner was shocked. She had never seen such a terrifying tribulation before. Most people would have at least six hours of Divine Lord tribulation. Although the demonic beast races' tribulation was slightly stronger than the human races and there was a bit of time discrepancy, the rhythm of the tribulations was almost the same everywhere. It always went from weak to strong. However, in just an instant's stick's worth of time, Long Chen's tribulation had reached such a terrifying level. Would what was coming up later even be survivable? The experts at the core region were constantly being cut down. By this point in time, almost half of them had been killed. The experts watching from outside the Divine Lord Immortal Realm grew antsy. Although having the weak be washed away was a natural law, and they all hoped that after the tribulation, the elites amongst the elites of their race would be able to reveal themselves, this rate of elimination was far too bloody. Some of the weaker races in particular were worried. Even their top geniuses would only be considered average in a battle of this scale. The first ones to die were the disciples of those weaker races. Watching as they died, their seniors started to feel unwell. Paul Master, can you? No, I cannot. None of us can interfere with what is happening inside the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. Otherwise, do you think that we would let Long Chen undergo tribulation inside? said the hall master coldly. Hearing that, those people fell silent, their hearts burning painfully. None of them could do anything. On the other hand, the strongest races were calmer and even felt a bit excited. This tribulation was causing their people to benefit the most. At this moment, Long Chen continued to stand there indifferently like an emotionless statue. Since he was surrounded by demonic beasts, those lightning beasts were unable to reach him before being slain. Up until now, Long Chen had not absorbed a single speck of thunder force from this tribulation, but he wasn't worried at all. The thunder force filling the air was all absorbed by the Eighth Prince, Wu Ying, and the others before it could reach him. They knew that as long as Long Chen didn't get to absorb any thunder force, he would be unable to advance. That was why none of them was worried about him fully merging with the heavenly down mark. They felt that the one that should be worried was Long Chen. But Long Chen looked at them like they were idiots. He was patiently waiting. After an hour, the lightning beasts finally stopped falling. Seeing this, the experts that had been about to run out of energy were delighted. Just as they thought that the tribulation was on the verge of ending, four lightning gates appeared within the tribulation clouds. As the lightning gates slowly opened, a dark and gloomy aura instantly enveloped the entire world. Navalun, calm. Chapter 3430 Ancient Corpses of the Ghost Shit Sinister Ghost Kai filled the world as though the gates of hell had opened. Following that, countless corpses in ancient clothes appeared, their bodies almost eroded to nothing. When Long Chen saw those figures, his heart pounded wildly. Weren't those the ancient corpses that he had seen on the ghost ship when crossing the Devil's Sea? Was this because of karma? 
Was this karma also included in his tribulation? Legend had it that those that saw a ghost ship had ill fortune befall them, but Long Chen had actually gone on to a ghost ship. Because of it, now the ghost ship's ancient corpses appeared in his heavenly tribulation. Long Chen was shocked, but everyone else was even more shocked. How could ancient corpses appear in a heavenly tribulation? Furthermore, these corpses possessed sinister ghost Kai. That was not in accordance with the heavenly Tao's, no. Shrink the encirclement and fight them together. This expert had just shouted when those ancient corpses came flying out of the lightning gates with their weapons, attacking. Moon, an expert of the mammoth divine elephant race, was the first to strike them. As a result, he was simply sent flying by a stroke of the ancient corpse's sword. After that, another sword from an ancient corpse swept out, breaking the void and cutting that expert of the mammoth divine elephant race in two. What? Everyone was shocked. That person was a first-rate expert. Although he couldn't compare to the eighth prince, he still had a certain amount of prestige within the mammoth divine elephant race. No one had expected him to be slain in an instant. These ancient corpses' attacks were sharp, and they still had their techniques from when they were alive. In his carelessness, that expert was instantly killed. The ancient corpses killed everyone on sight. Moreover, all of them seemed to be experienced warriors with refined skills. In just the first exchange, a wave of the demonic beast race's experts collapsed. The eighth prince, Wu Ying, and the others' expressions finally changed. Before this, they didn't care about the deaths of those people. One reason was that the ones dying were from the weaker demonic beast races. The other reason was it was simply the natural elimination of the weak. It wasn't a big deal to them. After the dirt was washed away, it would leave only the gold. However, it was different now. The attack power of these ancient corpses was terrifying. If they still didn't interfere, these elite disciples would also be slain. Other than the sixteen of us, everyone else, go deal with them, shouted the eighth prince. Thousands of experts had been eyeing Long Chen and preparing to test their luck. However, the situation had changed, and the eighth prince had even given them an order. So... They helplessly turned to the ancient corpses. These thousands of experts were very powerful existences. But when they started fighting these ancient corpses, they were shocked to find that the latter was even stronger than they had expected. Their experienced techniques couldn't be broken. Even with them joining in, countless experts continued to be slain. As a result, the number of people at the core rapidly fell. As for the four lightning gates, they were still open, and more ancient corpses continued to come out. They seemed endless. In the distance, Leyuner also ran into danger. Fortunately, they were at the very edge, and there were far fewer ancient corpses here. With Leyuner personally dealing with them, things were still manageable. When those ancient corpses were slain, they also transformed into multicolored lightning runes. Moreover, when the runes fell onto Lei Yuner, she sensed her physical body growing in power crazily. Due to this, she began fighting even harder. The experts behind her also benefited from her. They did their best to absorb those runes to strengthen themselves. Suddenly, one of them coughed up blood and cracks appeared throughout his body. He had reached his limit. If he continued to absorb more lightning runes, his body would explode. Princess, thank you for everything. My Swift's race swears to follow the lightning falcon race to the death. That expert immediately retreated after reaching his limit. After going outside of the range of the tribulation, his aura suddenly grew explosively. He finally finished advancing to the Divine Lord realm. At that moment, a light flashed out of his tablet, enveloping him and bringing him away. Once a person finished advancing to the Divine Lord realm in the Divine Lord Immortal realm, 
their tablets would automatically activate and bring them out. These people's tribulations have all been absorbed by Long Chen. Hence, only once, they left his tribulation with the heavenly Tao silently except that they had finished undergoing tribulation. Following that one person, more and more experts of the flying beast race thanked Lei Yuner and left, having reached their limit. They were extremely grateful to her. If she hadn't summoned them here, they would have all died within the heavenly tribulation. Seeing those famous experts at the core being slain in droves by the ancient corpses, they knew that their lives had been given to them by Lei Yuner. Not only could they keep their lives, but their physical bodies had also been strengthened to the limit. This was a huge opportunity that had changed their fates. In just a few breaths' time, only a few thousand people remained by Lei Yuner's side. The runes that came from killing the ancient corpses were so powerful that just absorbing a few was enough for these experts to reach their limits. Fortunately, these thousands of experts were all elites, so they continued to absorb a few more runes. In just a bit, Ying Bakong also reached his limit. And just like everyone else, he wanted to absorb a bit more, only to cough up blood. Now the loon come he helplessly left, knowing that his potential couldn't compare to Lei Yuner's. He was about the same as the other experts. More and more people continued to leave. Lei Yuner was killing so many ancient corpses that they quickly reached their limits. After thanking Lei Yuner, they left. In the end, only Lei Yuner was left. After that, with a laugh, she charged into the core. The flying beast race's experts reappeared in the plaza. Thereafter, the senior experts of the demonic beast race cried out in shock when they saw them in person. These disciples that had just finished their tribulations were shockingly powerful now. Their auras and physical bodies were several times stronger than previous generations who came out of the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. No one could believe it. This enormous heavenly tribulation could completely transform a person. All the flying beast race's senior experts were in high spirits upon seeing their descendants return with such powerful auras. These old fellows almost started dancing in excitement. The heart of the lightning falcon race's leader was pounding emotionally as he stared at the hundreds of thousands of new elites of his lightning falcon race. Their race had truly profited this time, so he felt like he had wrongly blamed Long Chen. However, he was quite smart to not express too much joy. He also cast a glance at the other old fellows of the demonic beast races. Other than their flying beast race, all the other old fellows in the plaza had dark expressions. Their disciples were either dead or bitterly hanging on inside of the tribulation. Cheering at this time wasn't very appropriate. Hence, some of the old fellows hastily suppressed their emotions as well as told their people to calm down. After that, they all stared into the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. There were endless ancient corpses and fewer and fewer demonic beasts inside. They numbered only a tenth now and were still falling, unable to stop the terrifying army of ancient corpses. Standing at the very center of the heavenly tribulation, Long Chen didn't have the slightest speck of lightning around him. After staring at the Eighth Prince and the others, he finally smiled mockingly. Even if you throw your lives away to protect me, I won't thank you. Chapter 3431 Black Swords Reappear Long Chen Wasn't Wrong The demonic beast race's experts were going all out against the ancient corpses and losing their lives. On the surface, it really was like they were throwing their lives away just to protect him. The Eighth Prince narrowed his eyes and coldly said, You want to anger us. You're too naive. This heavenly tribulation is the good fortune of the heavens. It is your heavenly tribulation, but you haven't obtained a single benefit from it. Are you not worried? The Eighth Prince was absorbing countless lightning runes from the air. He could clearly feel their monstrous tempering power, so he was confident in his deduction. 
as long as they prevented Long Chen from absorbing these runes, then when the heavenly tribulation was over, they could kill him and take all the benefits. All of Long Chen's efforts would be for them. Naive, Long Chen laughed. Just then, an ancient corpse passed through their encirclement and stabbed a sword right at Long Chen's back. Without looking back, Long Chen swung his hand, slapping that ancient corpse in the face. Boop! The ancient corpse smashed into the ground, causing an explosion that left a giant hole in the earth. When that hole appeared, the hall master and assistant hall masters of the sacred pill hall twitched. It's just a coincidence. Don't worry, transmitted the hall master. But the uneasy feeling he felt intensified. There was a fist sized bone fragment within that large hole. It was covered in dirt. Without looking closely, it wasn't even noticeable. The reason that the hall master twitched was because that bone fragment was one of the formation runes binding the core of the star field. This bone fragment was buried in the earth and protected by a formation. Let alone Long Chen, not even a world king could extract it. However, the random ancient corpse that Long Chen killed actually exposed it. These three were unable to figure out what had just happened. The worst case scenario that worried them the most was that if those bone fragments were broken, then the power of the core of the star field would erupt. At that time, let alone the Divine Lord Immortal Realm, even the entire auspicious cloud prefecture would be destroyed without a trace. Everyone here would die. They could only hope that it was a coincidence. But they were now worried that someone would accidentally destroy that bone fragment. If that was the case, they would really be doomed. Without realizing it, sweat dripped down the hall master's forehead. Inside the Divine Lord Immortal Realm, Long Chen acted like nothing had happened at all. He didn't even glance at that bone fragment and indifferently looked at the eight prints. It seems that you still haven't noticed just what kind of person you have provoked. I don't want to waste more time. After that, Long Chen flicked a finger and a flash of fire soared into the heavens. It was a thumb-sized flame lotus. Boat. The flame lotus exploded within the tribulation clouds. Following that, the tribulation clouds roiled, and terrifying heavenly might crashed down. Long Chen's flame lotus had infuriated the heavenly tribulation. It was like he had slapped a slumbering beast, waking it up in a fury. After that, the endless tribulation clouds began to condense. As the clouds shrank, the auras of those ancient corpses grew from the early immortal king realm to the late immortal king realm. Their power soared, and their attacks grew even sharper. Moreover, they seemed to have gained intelligence. Previously, they were only attacking instinctively. But now, they were attacking and defending as if they were alive. As they became incomparably experienced warriors, the defensive line of the demonic beasts, which had been barely holding on, instantly shattered. Countless people died to those ancient corpses. Eighth Prince, Princess Wu Ying, Golden Horned Master, please save us. Some people begged for aid, only to be slain before they finished begging. There were now no more than ten million demonic beasts left, but ancient corpses were still descending from the four gates. Long Chen smiled. That was right. The ancient corpses he had encountered on the ghost ship possessed this kind of aura. They had now been manifested inside his heavenly tribulation, displaying terrifying killing power. The eighth prince's expression finally changed. There were too many ancient corpses. If this continued, then while the sixteen of them would be fine, the elites of the various races would be exterminated. They couldn't allow such a thing. If these elites were lost, it would be a huge loss to their races. Fine, let's not waste any time. I'll kill you right now, shouted the eighth prince, and his golden spear once more appeared in his hand. Upon seeing this, Long Chen's calm indifference vanished, 
and killing intent surged out of him. It was this spear that had killed the nine-star heir. Go help our people. His life is mine, shouted the eighth prince at Wu Ying and the others. Don't trouble yourselves. Just as Wu Ying and the others were about to go, Long Chen's voice rang out, sending a chill down their spines. When they looked back at him, they saw a vein throbbing on his forehead, and his hair was flying wildly. The killing intent in his eyes was chilling, like a devil king had descended. Long Chen's voice instantly became hoarse, and it resounded throughout heaven and earth, like it came from the depths of hell. It made people shiver. Divine ring. Battle armor. The next moment, the void shattered and the dome of the heavens quivered. When Long Chen's divine ring appeared, countless stars could be seen flowing inside of it, and a pillar of light soared to the heavens. Even the tribulation clouds quivered uneasily. The four gates suddenly became covered in cracks. Boop! Seemingly suffering under the pressure of some terrifying power, the four gates finally reached their limit and exploded. In that instant, the ancient corpses that were slaughtering the demonic beasts also exploded, transforming into lightning runes. The demonic beasts were delighted. Just as they were prepared to absorb the lightning runes before they could enjoy this harvest, black swords came raining down from the heavens. The physical bodies that these demonic beasts were so proud of were as weak as tofu in front of these black swords. No, save me. The black lightning swords contained endless destructive power, and they mercilessly harvested their lives. The shouts for aid were useless, as even the eighth prince, Wu Ying, and the others were shocked and powerless to look after the others. In just an instant, only a few hundred people remained out of ten million experts. Seeing this scene, the senior experts in the plaza roared in fury. The slain experts were the future pillars of their races. Hence, these seniors were filled with hatred and wanted to charge into the Divine Lord Immortal Realm right this instant to slay Long Chen. Kill him together. The Eighth Prince was shocked. That shock quickly transformed into rage, and he shot toward Long Chen. Chapter 3432 Destroying the Divine Lord Immortal Realm The Eighth Prince Wu Ying and the others summoned their manifestations and activated their bloodlines. As a result, pillars of light soared into the heavens. Thereafter, they took out their weapons and charged at Long Chen. They had been waiting a long time for this moment, as they wanted Long Chen's heavenly Dao mark. So, they instantly launched a thunderous attack. Sixteen peak experts attacked at once and their combined forces caused the entire Divine Lord Immortal Realm to shake. Even a World King wouldn't dare to receive their attacks. In front of their all-out attacks, Long Chen raised his head and roared. His dragon scales shone brightly. As Divine Light poured into his fist, he unleashed a single punch. What the Eighth Prince and the others didn't expect was that Lei Yuner had also joined in and her lightning spear stabbed toward Long Chen. Suddenly, the void shuddered and a screen of light appeared between the two sides. It was like a giant mirror, and it had one hundred and eight bone fragments embedded on it. Every bone fragment contained a rune. Seeing this scene, the whole master cried out in shock. Impossible! Those bone fragments were the core formation of the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. When just a single one was exposed, he had been worried enough. Now so many had appeared. If they were crushed, the entire formation would be destroyed. In fact, even the entire auspicious cloud prefecture would be wiped out. The core of the formation had been taken out. Just who in the world possessed that ability? Wu Long Chen, Lei Yuner, the Eighth Prince, Wu Ying, and the others attacks all smashed into the mirror. The mirror quivered after receiving all their attacks. Following that, cracks covered the bone fragments and the mirror suddenly shattered. The Eighth Prince and the others were dumbfounded. 
they didn't know what was going on. If this mirror was Long Chen's, he wouldn't have attacked it. No, I have accomplished my mission. I'm going to start a slaughter now, said Long Chen, looking at the broken mirror. Everything had gone according to plan. The core of the Divine Lord Immortal Realm had to be destroyed. However, it couldn't be destroyed with just one person's power, or the energy imbalance would cause the energy of the integral heaven star field's core that had been extracted to this place to explode. Even the protector spirit couldn't control such an explosion. That was why Long Chen needed to borrow the power of many people. Adding on the cooperation of the protector spirit, the core of the formation was smoothly destroyed. Thereafter, she regained her freedom. Thank you. I know I can't advise you, but I definitely will not go back on my word. Don't worry about that. The woman's voice rang out once more. Just as she said this, space twisted and the world collapsed. Everyone was shocked to find that they couldn't move. The experts in the plaza were horrified. They saw cracks cover the formation. And from the cracks, waves of destructive aura came through. Pun. It was unknown who shouted first, but there was no need for this shout. Everyone already fled like they had seen a ghost. The world kings ran faster than anyone else. They sensed death from the broken formation. The Divine Lord Immortal Realm was about to break, and Long Chen and the others were about to appear before them again. To make things worse, the heavenly tribulation would follow him. If they hadn't escaped the range of the heavenly tribulation, I then, once it locked onto them, this tribulation would become a world king's tribulation. Ignoring whether or not they could endure that, everyone below the world king realm would be instantly killed. Furthermore, the aura of death coming from this heavenly tribulation was even more terrifying than their tribulations back in the day. It was truly ominous. It was these old fellows that had lived the longest that were most afraid of death. The race leaders directly summoned their true forms and brought their people away. At this moment, the advantage of the flying beast race was revealed. The lightning falcon race was the fastest, and they instantly fled out of the auspicious cloud prefecture city. Just then, the barrier around the plaza exploded. As a result, a terrifying power ravaged the surroundings and countless buildings were destroyed. Lightning flowed like seawater, filling the world with destructive aura. To make things worse, astral winds ravaged the earth, and black tribulation clouds rapidly spread across the heavens. The entire auspicious cloud prefecture was covered by them. Those world kings felt a burst of fear. Fortunately, they had fled quickly. Only now that they personally sensed the heavenly tribulations aura did they understand just how terrifying it was. This is no heavenly tribulation. This is heavenly punishment. A world king cried out in shock. This heavenly tribulation was entirely destructive power without the slightest trace of life energy. The auspicious cloud trading company. Another startled cry rang out. The heavenly tribulation had destroyed the auspicious cloud trading company. People's expressions contorted in pain just thinking about the countless treasures inside. However, it wasn't just the auspicious cloud trading company. Countless buildings were also destroyed by the black lightning swords. The black swords were incomparably sharp and cut through the buildings like mud. Furthermore, this place had been peaceful for too long. The runes on those buildings were for extending the lifespan on the buildings, not increasing their defensive power. It was because no one dared to run amok here. Thus, the entire auspicious cloud prefecture collapsed like an earthen tile. Even the demonic beasts felt aggrieved as they watched this, let alone the sacred pill hall's people. At this moment, the void exploded. Long Chen and the others appeared at the heart of the heavenly tribulation. Long Chen then looked up at the sky and coldly said, What a familiar feeling. The Divine Lord Immortal Realm had been destroyed, so they were sent back out to the auspicious cloud prefecture. When they came out, 
the heavenly tribulations are also changed to long chen the previous heavenly tribulation was like cum lake water warm and peaceful but now it was a raging sea and its huge waves contained destructive power it was truly the heavenly tribulation that he knew the divine lord immortal realm had had a supreme grand formation controlling it now that it had been destroyed the heavenly tribulation returned to its normal appearance as for the sacred pill hall's grand formation that had locked down the entire auspicious cloud prefecture due to the people fleeing they had to shut it down once they fled the heavenly tribulation erupted and they were no longer able to activate it so they could only watch as the work of millions of years was destroyed just like this the hearts of the sacred pill hall's people were dripping with blood kill long chen whoever kills him will have their entire race be blessed with free medicinal pills from the sacred pill hall for their lifetime shouted the hall master hearing that everyone was moved it had to be known that the greatest expense of every race was medicinal pills now anyone who killed long chen would get a lifetime supply of pills this offer was truly attractive however in the heavenly tribulation there were only eighteen people other than the eighth prince wu ying and the others there were only lei yuner and long chen yuner as the race leader i order you to not participate in their battle shouted the leader of the lightning falcon race chapter three thousand four hundred thirty three repaying kindness with enmity lei yuner was startled by her race leader's order she didn't know what had happened but she didn't believe his words before this the race leader had clearly been in full support of her action no i refuse lei yuner's stubborn nature flared ignoring his words she stood by long chen's side however just at that moment a lightning spear pierced her chest lei yuner couldn't believe it that was because the one that stabbed her was long chen she then looked at long chen feeling the pain in her chest feeling her life rapidly flowing away her voice quivered why don't you want to have children with me sorry but i never wanted to have children with you i was only using you due to helping me enter the divine lord immortal realm i'll leave you with an intact corpse said long chen frostily lei yuner coughed up blood with a swing of long chen's spear she was sent flying out of the heavenly tribulation the leader of the lightning falcon race was shocked and enraged by this turn of events long chen you bastard how dare you repay her kindness this way just wait i will tear you into a million pieces he immediately moved to catch lei yuner's body her aura had vanished and even her spiritual fluctuations were gone seeing this he coughed up blood from the torrent of emotions quick use the bloodline soul summoning art try to save her shouted an elder of the lightning falcon race this elder was the previous leader of the lightning falcon race he was extremely old but he was still recognized as someone of great virtue and prestige now hundreds of thousands of experts of the lightning falcon race used their bloodline power to activate a secret art trying to save lei yuner's life on the other hand the hall master only glanced at lei yuner once before ignoring their efforts with his spiritual strength he could easily tell that the flame of her soul in her head was gone she was already dead so their efforts were futile bastard i'll avenge yuner the race leader even began to weep he was aware of just how dismal their chances of saving her were yunard isn't dead her soul has been sealed inside her danchen with thunder force long chen wouldn't kill her he is probably trying to sever any connection we have with him so that we aren't implicated the elder's voice rang out in the race leader's mind after he roared this was a bloodline communication that could only be heard by those of the same race the race leader was startled after that 
he hastily checked her danchon and found that there really was a layer of thunder force around her danchon through that lightning seal he could vaguely sense her spiritual fluctuations don't let other people notice anything strange keep acting angry urged the elder as the lightning falcon race did all they could for lei yuner the eighth prince wu ying and the others surrounded long chen however their expressions were rather grave now after leaving the divine lord immortal realm the heavenly tribulation became explosive like a sheep that had become a wild tiger despite the lightning swords being the same they were several times sharper than before even they were having trouble dealing with these black lightning swords they didn't dare to be careless on the other hand long chen simply stood there and allowed the lightning swords to strike his body they shattered on contact with his body transforming into black runes that were absorbed by his body attack the eighth prince roared his blood kai raged as his golden spear pierced toward long chen he started off immediately with one of his strongest attacks Wu long chen also unleashed his lightning spear when the two collided a large expert with golden bull horns on his head also attacked with a vajra scepter this was the heavenly genius from the golden barbarian bull race long chen shoved his spear back blocking the vajra scepter after that he twisted his body to dodge a water thorn that blew right past his cheek and cut off a strand of his hair just the sharp wind as it blew by left a bloody cut on long chen's cheek it was a silent attack with a perfect angle the epitome of its kind of attack it came from the water mallard races wu ying ah the flavor of true dragon essence blood really isn't bad now that you've killed that slut of the lightning falcon race big sis is starting to like you wu ying licked the blood on her water thorn excitedly just from that trace of blood she sensed a powerful true dragon aura and that was an irresistible allure as long chen was pressed back by their attacks he condensed a lightning spear and shield to fight these people's weapons were divine items with amazing backgrounds on the other hand long chen didn't have a suitable weapon who suddenly the tribulation clouds changed and the gates that had been destroyed by long chen now returned however this time only two gates appeared when they opened countless life forms with sharp claws and covered in black kai came pouring out the black seas beamed spirits as expected you've come long chen instantly recognized them these were the fiend spirits that he had encountered in the netherworld when he was forced to flee into the black sea their numbers were what was truly astonishing if the ancient corpses before had to be counted in the tens of thousands these fiend spirits were in the hundreds of millions they were like two giant waterfalls pouring out of the sky charging at them sinisterly the eighth prince and the others expressions instantly changed they had thought that the black swords were the final wave but now there was another those fiend spirits were especially sinister looking at them even world kings felt cold sweat soaking their backs they were like ghouls from the depths of hell they were truly terrifying kill him the eighth prince finally realized that something was wrong before this they had been able to leave the heavenly tribulation but now that these fiend spirits appeared their path out was cut off he felt uneasy the others also felt that something was off these fiend spirits were endless and their auras were equivalent to a peak immortal king as time passed they would also be slain by them and the battle quickly this time it was wu ying who attacked first water kai erupted out of her body and she instantly split into eight clones and attacked long chen well said let us end this battle quickly long chen sneered he suddenly extended his hand saber come following his shout countless saber wielders outside the tribulation were shocked to find their sabers quivering in their sheaths 
Chapter 3434 Divine Saberming on the experts that could be here watching were the leaders of the various races or pillars of their races. Even the weakest was a late stage immortal king. The only reason a late stage immortal king was allowed was due to their power and prestige. There were millions of them present. Demonic beasts favored heavy weapons, so they were fond of sabers, broadswords, spears, pikes, hatchets, warmers, etc. Amongst these experts were several hundred saber users. So, following Long Chen's cry, the sabers on their backs and waists seemed to receive some sort of summons. They quivered, seemingly expressing their loyalty to Long Chen, as if they thirsted to enter his hands. With the support of the core of the integral heaven star field, Long Chen's senses were extended, and he sensed countless sabers. So he was calling out to them, seeing which of them was willing to fight with him. A saber then flew out of the hand of a half-step world king. Just as he grabbed it again, that saber seemed to come to life. Its edge then turned, cutting off his wrist before it flew into the heavenly tribulation. Just at this moment, eight Wu Yings charged at Long Chen and Water Kai filled the air. Moreover, space twisted as if this place was the depths of a sea. The saber then entered Long Chen's hand. Ignoring the others, Long Chen thrust it at one of the Wu Yings. As a result, blood splashed. The nine-foot saber pierced through Wu Ying's chest, and the other water thorns in the hands of her clones smashed into Long Chen's body. However, they merely caused some sparks to fly out, unable to break his golden dragon armor. You think yourself smart, but your head isn't good. You decided to learn the body-splitting arts of the human race. Sure, the body can be split, but can a weapon be split as well? Distinguishing which weapon is real is far easier than finding the real body, said Long Chen contemptuously. Wu Ying was simply an arrogant fool. The way she split her body was not flawed. Against demonic beasts, they truly wouldn't be able to tell which was the real one. However, with Long Chen's powerful spiritual strength, he could easily grasp the true body's blood kai and spiritual fluctuations. Even if he couldn't sense that, though, the weapons of her clones were fake. She couldn't trick him regardless. I, Wu Ying, had been full of confidence. So she hadn't expected Long Chen to break her water Dao domain with a casual blow and accurately pinpoint her true body. With the true body injured, the power of the clones plummeted to the point where they couldn't even break Long Chen's defenses. Now she was terrified. You look down on the human race, yet learn the human race's techniques. You look down on me, but die to my hands. Go in peace, said Long Chen coldly. No, don't kill me. It Wu Ying's body exploded. However, what killed her wasn't Long Chen, but the heavenly genius of the golden barbarian bull race. He had attacked from behind Long Chen in a sneak attack, attempting to save her. However, Long Chen just flung Wu Ying's body behind him, resulting in her smashing into the Vajra scepter. As a result, she was directly blown to bits. The golden barbarian bull race's expert was shocked and enraged. It had been too late for him to even hold back his power. Don't feel bad, you'll be accompanying her. Long Chen raised his saber and then slashed it down like a bolt of lightning. After that, countless runes lit up on the saber and a dragon roar rang out of it. Dudge. The eighth prince cried out in shock and stabbed his spear at Long Chen. He saw that the golden barbarian bull racy's expert had used up his power after killing Wu Ying. Regretfully, Long Chen didn't give that golden barbarian bull any chance to dodge. Long Chen had already locked onto him, and golden light exploded along with blood mist. The golden Vajra scepter was broken by Long Chen's saber. Furthermore, the wielder was directly blown to bits. After killing him, Long Chen's saber spun through the air, 
perfectly blocking the eighth prince's late attempt to save his companion. After that, the eighth prince was forced back three steps before he managed to stabilize himself. He was shocked. He had absorbed a huge amount of thunder force, and his body was essentially fully satiated. If he left the heavenly tribulation, he would instantly become a divine lord. Despite not having made that final breakthrough, his power had increased by over ten times. With his spear and manifestation resonating, his power was unimaginable. However, his attack just now seemed to have struck a star. Long Chen didn't stagger in the slightest. Instead, it was him who almost coughed up blood from the exchange. After blowing back the eighth prince, Long Chen didn't chase him. Instead, he slowly raised his saber for a look. The saber blade was nine feet long, while the hilt was one and a half feet. Its body was blood red, and its style was very ancient. Moreover, this blood color contained a sharp killing intent. This was definitely a divine weapon that had killed countless life forms. Furthermore, there were two Jilai immortal characters carved into its hilt. They were third generation Jilai characters, Ming Hong. One, the entire saber was blood red, but these two characters in particular were as red as fresh blood that had just come out of the body. Long Chen sensed the aura of the dragon race from these two characters. They were engraved with dragon blood. No wonder it feels so familiar. Staring at this saber, Long Chen smiled. The saber felt heavy in his hand. It perfectly suited his current power. Furthermore, with its length, it felt very comfortable to use. Most importantly, this Minghong saber's item spirit felt extremely close to Long Chen. It was a top-grade king item. This half-step world king of the demonic beast race had obtained it countless years ago. He had been carrying it on his back all this time, but had never used it. That was because he had never managed to subdue the dragon wool on it. The reason he had carried it on his back all day long was a display of his status. He would occasionally show it off to others, showing others that he was a stunning figure capable of controlling a weapon with a dragon soul. However, never in his wildest dreams would he have imagined that this saber would actually fly toward Long Chen. Furthermore, it had even cut off his hand. Most likely, this fellow was so enraged he would cough up blood. Ever since losing Dragonbone Evil Moon, Long Chen had never felt so accustomed to a saber, the feeling of man and saber being one. He finally had a companion that could fight alongside him again. Just then, countless fiend spirits pounced on him. Although they were imitations made out of lightning, they appeared the exact same as when he saw them in the netherworld. With them filling the battlefield, the Eighth Prince and the others had no choice but to fight them as well as defend against Long Chen. Long Chen's saber then swept out, and a dragon cry rang out once more. Everything in his way instantly vanished. Those fiend spirits turned into lightning runes with no suspense at all. Furthermore, those lightning runes disappeared as soon as they appeared, as if they were silently absorbed by something. The old feeling is finally back. At this moment, battle intent burned in Long Chen's eyes excitedly. He suddenly raised his saber. Thereafter, a giant saber image pierced the tribulation clouds, and the entire world shuddered. A will to split apart heaven and earth soared, causing the nine heavens to change color. It was a will that caused gods and devils to quiver. Split the heavens. In front of countless stunned gazes, a giant blade cleaved apart the tribulation clouds and mercilessly slashed down upon the eight prince and the others. One, the Minghong Saber Chinese letter 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 is a legendary sword of Chinese mythology. The legend does not seem relevant at the moment, but to summarize, when the yellow emperor Xuan Yuan forged his golden sword, there were still some leftover materials in the furnace. The high heat melted those materials, and they took the form of a saber at the bottom of the furnace after cooling off. 
the yellow emperor thought that its saber will was too strong and it would consume anyone who tried to use it worried about it falling into the mortal world he chose to destroy it however it transformed into a red skylark and flew off vanishing amongst the clouds chapter three thousand four hundred thirty five brahma divine statue take out the elephant emperor war chariot when the mammoth divine elephant races leader saw that giant saber image his expression completely changed and he shouted at the eighth prince this attack terrified even world kings they were stunned that someone who was still in the middle of their divine lord tribulation would be able to unleash such a terrifying attack boom the divine saber destroyed laws and shattered dows the tribulation clouds filling the sky were cleanly cut apart however there was no need for the mammoth divine elephant race leader's warning the eighth prince had instantly summoned the elephant emperor war chariot the moment long chen raised his saber because he sensed that at this moment only it could possibly save his life the saber image then smashed into the war chariot and the chariot shuddered intensely after that divine light radiated out of the chariot blasting the fiend spirits around it apart everything in the surroundings was directly turned to dust this was a shocking blow one that caused the world to change color despite it still being the first form of split the heavens its power was dozens of times greater now one reason was because long chen's realm had increased but the other reason was that he finally had a perfect divine weapon another aspect was that he had been bestowed with the heavenly down mark of the integral heaven star field which allowed him to grow closer to the heavenly dows they were willing to lend him more power long chen felt completely refreshed after this attack as for the mingong saber in his hand a dragon cry continued to ring out of it it was like after encountering each other they could finally unleash their full potential the saber itself seemed even more excited than long chen this was a divine weapon of the human race for it to land in the hands of the demonic beast race was a waste of a treasure after this blow the fiend spirits were all turned into lightning rooms the war chariot rumbled right below it the eighth prince's expression was exceedingly ugly there was no way he could have blocked that attack if it hadn't been for the elephant emperor war chariot he would be dead right now the others only barely kept their lives thanks to him but blood was pouring out of all their orifices and their heads were dazed that one blow shook everyone these demonic beasts had been unable to understand how a little four peak youngster like long chen could possibly become the dean of the high firmament academy's seventh branch but now they understood just as everyone was stunned by this attack long chen once more raised the minghong saber in front of their dumbfounded gazes he unleashed the same terrifying attack it seemed that he could unleash it limitlessly without wasting time to store up energy Boom. the war chariot radiated divine light once more but this time the explosion was several times stronger than the last the war chariot shuddered and sank almost smashing into the ground other than the eighth prince everyone else had been directly blown apart by the shock waves as for the eighth prince he also coughed up a mouthful of blood this attack was even more powerful than the last because this time long chen had used the power of his stars long chen's one hundred eight thousand stars had been broken and grown countless times during his tribulation hence they were dozens of times stronger than before furthermore the divine flames burning on top of them also grew they gave Long Chen endless power. At this moment, specks appeared on the Minghong saber, blazing like the stars. Battle intent burned in Long Chen's eyes as he looked at the Minghong saber. This is only half of my astral power. Can you continue? The Minghong saber buzzed. After that, a dragon cry rang out in Saber Kai's sword. 
it seemed that it thirsted for even more power but just then the elephant emperor war chariot whistled over it was actually attacking long chen countless runes then lit up on it shining like stars long chen raised his saber to block it as a result his arms quivered and he was sent flying like a shooting star long chen smashed into a barrier and bounced off only then did long chen realize that there was one region of intact buildings within the otherwise destroyed auspicious cloud domain this place was protected by a formation long chen just happened to crash into that place causing the barrier to appear long chen then saw a statue lord brahma long chen's eyes instantly turned blood red this statue was brahma's this was the sacred pill hall's holy land and lord brahma's statue was here moreover as this place was the inheritance land for his tao it was protected by faith energy and even the heavenly tribulation was unable to harm this place Die. the next moment the eighth prince's furious roar rang out inside the elephant emperor war chariot he smashed toward long chen this elephant emperor war chariot was something only descendants of the elephant emperor could use even within the mammoth divine elephant race only a very small portion of people were capable of using it due to their bloodline connection previously in order to protect the others the eighth prince had hidden behind the elephant emperor war chariot but now since they were all dead he instantly entered the chariot here not even a world king could harm him with a furious roar he charged toward long chen because he wasn't a match for long chen he would use the elephant emperor war chariot to kill him it was incredibly fast and it appeared in front of long chen just as he bounced off of the barrier long chen once more raised his saber to block resulting in him smashing into the barrier he was actually forcibly embedded into it the barrier was behind him and the elephant emperor war chariot was in front of him he was caught between the two long chen pushed as hard as he could but the barrier behind him was actually soft and flexible he didn't have a foothold to push off of die you inferior human the eighth prince suddenly spat out a mouthful of blood after that the elephant emperor war chariot rumbled as if it had come alive shaking the world it was like an ancient beast had awoken now long chen instantly felt like an entire starry sky was pressing down on him kill him kill him just then he heard countless cheers from within the barrier looking behind him long chen saw countless experts wearing robes of the sacred pill hall cheering from inside the buildings the sacred pill halls people actually hid here it was no wonder long chen hadn't seen a single person in the city when his heavenly tribulation descended seeing long chen trapped and knowing that he was an enemy of the sacred pill hall they all cheered for the eighth prince long chen was angered but just as he was about to unleash the full power of his stars another gate opened in the sky and a tall figure appeared it caused long chen's expression to completely change big brother wu tian that figure was precisely wu tian the moment he appeared the rest of the tribulation clouds vanished without a trace it was like his arrival sucked up all the power of the heavenly tribulation after that the world shuddered and the ten thousand daos cried out even the world kings were quivering staring in horror at wu tian's figure a spear appeared in wu tian's hand with a quiver of the spear his body vanished that spear then pierced through heaven and earth at long chen this is the attack that big brother wu tian used to send me out of the netherworld long chen was appalled this was the only attack he had ever seen wu tian unleash it had actually been memorized by the heavenly downs the eighth prince was also shocked by this sudden change so he hastily sent the elephant emperor war chariot away don't be stingy be my shield long chen shouted and just like that 
he hid behind the elephant emperor wore chariot what kind of joke was that who could possibly block wu qian's attack Ooh, the spear fell in front of countless shocked gazes the elephant emperor wore chariot was pierced through chapter three thousand four hundred thirty six lightning world destruction the power of that spear was incomparable it was an attack capable of piercing through the wall between worlds back then wu tian had used this attack to make a path for long chen back to the immortal world thus long chen was profoundly aware of how terrifying this attack was if he tried to block it he would definitely die let alone him even a world king was incapable of blocking this attack the moment the spear pierced the elephant emperor war chariot long chen spread his arms summoning eighteen lightning shields these lightning shields were as flimsy as paper in front of that spear and instantly pierced through however they were not there to stop it the moment the first one was pierced long chen dodged to the side long chen's dragon scales shattered and his blood sprayed out he had managed to dodge the spear but even just the shockwaves of its divine might left his body a bloody pulp long chen's heart was cold this attack had been replicated by the heavenly Daos. so based on the divine might it couldn't compare to wu tian's attack despite that it was more than enough to kill long chen with the heavenly tribulation locking on to him if it hadn't been for the elephant emperor war chariot and the eighteen lightning shields he would have definitely died the elephant emperor war chariot bought him the time he needed to dodge and the eighteen lightning shields gave him the right timing to start dodging if he had dodged too early the spear would have locked onto him a second time if he had dodged too late it would have pierced him thus these eighteen shields were not to stop the spear but to give him the proper calculations to dodge the moment the first shield was broken he dodged at just the right time the spear then continued past him striking the barrier below that tough barrier instantly became covered in countless cracks inside the barrier the sacred pill hall's experts turned green the barrier was only a little bit away from shattering it was something condensed with the faith energy from lord brahma's divine statue as for inside the war chariot the eighth prince was hacking up blood half of his body was gone you're not dead then i'll send you on your way long chen was also covered in blood but he didn't mind they were superficial wounds that didn't affect him lightning wings appeared on his back after that he shot toward the war chariot and grabbed it with a howl he smashed it against the cracking barrier no the eighth prince cried out in horror he tried to escape but his body was no longer listening to his orders he could only watch as the war chariot smashed toward the barrier Boom. the crippled war chariot exploded along with the eighth prince the barrier then quivered and finally shattered the heavenly tribulation is over till him together only then did the hall master react the heavenly tribulation was over and they could finally join in as well the leaders of the various powerful races instantly shot toward long chen the heavenly geniuses of their races had all been slain without anyone remaining so they were all infuriated and demanded vengeance on the other hand the flying beast races experts were led by the lightning falcon race and they didn't move keep up the act hearing the old race leaders reminder the current leader of the lightning falcon race quickly reacted if they didn't join the fray as well their previous act would have been for nothing kill kill that bastard long chen who repays kindness with enmity the leader of the lightning falcon race charged out with the major figures of the flying beast race but even as the fastest expert he was very slow they couldn't possibly try to kill long chen or that would truly be repaying kindness with enmity indeed as the heavenly tribulation vanished 
Long Chen's body rumbled and his fluctuating aura stabilized. He had successfully advanced to the Divine Lord realm. During the tribulation, he had possessed some of this aura, but that aura was transient, as weak as mud. Now that he had fully advanced, his aura was as solid as steel. The current him was in control of the Divine Lord's power. Four peaks condensed to become the Lord of the Heavens. Sensing the endless power in his body, Long Chen finally understood the meaning of this phrase that described the Divine Lord realm. A lightning sphere appeared in Long Chen's left hand. Just then, the shattered lightning runes that were the result of Wu Tan's shattered spear transformed into lightning dragons that condensed within his hand. It was at this moment that the Hall Master and the other experts reached Long Chen. Their divine weapons swung toward him. Long Chen smiled mockingly. I've profited this time. Not only did I pass through the tribulation safe and sound, but I even got rid of a sacred pill hole in this world. The lightning sphere in Long Chen's hand suddenly expanded, containing violent destructive power. Upon seeing it, the Hall Master and the others' expressions changed. This lightning spear contained the will of Wu Tian's attack, so they sensed the threat of death coming from it. Get away! A world king hastily stopped himself and fled. Too late. World extermination lightning radiance. Long Chen shoved the lightning spear forward. That direction was where Lord Brahma's statue was. Boom! It was like the explosion of the sun. Divine light shook the stars and fragments of space-time flew about. The leader of the lightning falcon race jumped in shock when he saw this. He hastily led his people to retreat. Fortunately, they had been the last to join in, and so they were the fastest to get out of the way. The divine light surged out like the devil's tongue. Anything touched by this light disintegrated. Even half-step world kings were unable to resist that terrifying power. The flying beast race's experts were the fastest to retreat, but some shockwaves still reached them, sending them flying. Fortunately, they were far away enough from the core area that they only coughed up blood. The lightning destroyed space and time, leaving desolate astral winds in its midst. Now, the remnants of flesh and destroyed buildings floated in the wreckage. There were even divine weapons being blown about in the astral winds, and some unlucky fellows were pierced by those weapons. After the devastation was over, the terrain had completely changed. The previous glorious city was gone. All that remained of it was a single statue. Other than this statue, as far as the eye could see, there was no other human construction. This attack was truly earth-shattering. One figure after another came out of the ground. These were world kings. However, they were covered in dirt and blood. Within the core of the world, extermination lightning radiance. Only world kings were capable of surviving. Within the deathly silence, the sound of flowing water rang out. In the distance, they saw a black-robed man with a blood-colored saber on his shoulder apathetically peeing on the divine statue's head. Chapter 3437 Revolt Lord Brahma, ah, Lord Brahma, just look at how dusty your face is. Boss Long San will help wash your face. In front of countless dumbfounded gazes, Long Chen peed on the head of the divine statue and critiqued it. Long Chen, you are courting death. Long Chen had not just destroyed the auspicious cloud prefecture, but was also blaspheming his god. The hall master's expression instantly twisted with fury. This piss was done to Long Chen's heart's content. There was no helping that there was limited storage for such a matter, and ultimately it ended. After that, Long Chen slowly tied his belt. He smiled at the hall master, showing his teeth. Are you mad? Are you angry? Suddenly, Long Chen's smile vanished, replaced with furious killing intent. Do you know how enraged I am? Lord Brahma, the day that I cut off your head will come sooner or later. Boom! Long Chen, 
swung the Ming Hong sabre down. Because of it, the divine statue shuddered and countless runes lit up. A divine or a sword. Long Chen was actually knocked away by those runes. This divine statue was protected by faith energy, so nothing could destroy it. Long Chen almost coughed up blood from the impact. Courting death, the hall master roared, and a pill furnace appeared in his hand. He then smashed it at Long Chen. At this moment, diagrams of the sun and moon flowed on top of it. It was a day-night furnace with fallen day-nights aura coming from it. Who? Long Chen fearlessly swung his saber, unleashing split the heavens again. But this time, an immense force almost broke his arm. His insides were also shaken, and blood leaked out of his mouth. However, this also blew back the day-night furnace. He forcibly received the attack of a world king. In the distance, the leader of the lightning falcon race was amazed. It had to be known that the hall master was currently crazy with fury. That had been a full power attack from him, but Long Chen had blocked it. Long Chen's blood was flipping inside of him, and he was forced far into the distance. A true world king was far stronger than a half-step world king. Thus, Long Chen was at a great disadvantage. Dai, the hall master once more sent the Danate furnace smashing toward him. At this moment, Long Chen saw a divine statue in a pillar of divine light behind the hall master. Then, looking back at the statue of Lord Brahma on the ground, he saw that it was glowing brightly. The hall master was using its power. Boom! Long Chen once more exchanged blows with the hall master, and this time he coughed up blood. The sacred power of the pill furnace now contained Lord Brahma's power. Not good. Long Chen's heart shook. This fellow was a true world king. Although Long Chen had advanced to the divine lord realm, he was still at a disadvantage. After all, they were two realms apart. It wasn't like in the Four Peak Realm when he could easily kill immortal kings. The Hall Master's manifestation shone brightly, resonating with Lord Brahma's divine statue. As the heavenly Daos cried out, his aura continued to climb. Suddenly, Long Chen shot toward Lord Brahma's statue. Seeing this, the Hall Master snorted and formed hand seals. A barrier then appeared around Lord Brahma's statue. In truth, he wasn't worried about Long Chen destroying the statue. The statue had been nourished by faith energy for tens of millions of years, so it was practically indestructible. Let alone Long Chen, not even a world king could destroy it. This barrier he set up was merely to prevent Long Chen from further blaspheming his god before his death. Dai, the hall master once more sent the Danate furnace smash and toward Long Chen. It was simply brute force, but it was even stronger than the last two blows. Now, the Danate furnace emitted such immense pressure that it was as if the world was about to collapse. Long Chen ignored the Danate furnace. When he arrived in front of the barrier, he suddenly took out a dagger. This was that mysterious broken sword that he had found in the Black Sea of the Netherworld. Long Chen threw the dagger. The black as ink tip silently cut through the barrier and the divine statue's head, flying out of the back of its head. Those powerful runes and the materials of the divine statue were pierced like they were tofu. Lightning runes then flashed around Long Chen's body. He vanished, reappearing behind the statue where he grabbed the dagger. Boom! Just then, the day-night furnace smashed down perfectly into the divine statue. As a result, the statue crumbled. It was destroyed by the sacred pill hall's master. The hall master's head buzzed. Seeing this scene, he just stood there, dumbfounded. His head was blank as he had no idea what to do. Aya, it seems that you want to start a revolt. By destroying Lord Brahma's divine statue, are you going independent from him? Long Chen felt incredibly satisfied when he saw the Hall Master's dazed expression. This fellow had executed the Nine Star Air before, 
So Long Chen wished to personally skin him and pull out every muscle in his body. But having him destroy the statue of his own god was also very satisfying. The whole master suddenly coughed up blood. It was unknown if it was due to his mental state or if it was from losing his connection to the divine statue, but he suddenly turned as pale as paper. His face was twisted. Long Chen's gaze shifted. He then moved, appearing amongst the broken fragments of the statue and grabbing the day-night furnace. Courting death, the hall master was further incensed, so he hastily formed hand seals. Regretfully, just as he formed his hand seals, he found that he could no longer sense the day-night furnace. He had lost his connection to it because Long Chen had tossed it into the primal chaos space. This time, the hall master coughed up three mouthfuls of blood. That was his life furnace with his spiritual marks on it. But now that those marks were forcibly erased, his soul was damaged. I am confiscating the instrument of your crime. I'll use this evidence to show Lord Brahma that you are preparing to revolt. Long Chen laughed. You, you, kill him. The hall master stuttered before roaring. After that, he took out a sword and charged at Long Chen. Halfway there, his two assistants cried out and hastily went to support him. Just then, a blood-colored saber appeared out of nowhere right in front of the hall master. Isn't that... The expressions of the lightning falcon race's experts changed. They recognized the technique that Long Chen had just used. It was an innate divine ability of the lightning falcon race, lightning teleport. Furthermore, the number of people qualified to cultivate this technique did not surpass ten, but Long Chen had actually learned it. Long Chen had not displayed this secret art this entire time just to wait for a chance. Now, he had succeeded. The Mingong saber then shuddered, and his power erupted within the hall master's body like a volcano. As a result, blood sprayed out and a large hole appeared in the hall master's chest. However, he didn't die. His two assistants managed to protect his life, pulling him back from the border of death. They then retreated, creating distance between them and Long Chen. Just then, countless demonic beast experts charged over, and dozens of world kings surrounded Long Chen. Die! Those world kings attacked together. Their divine weapons whistled toward Long Chen with all their power. Chapter 3438 Let's Talk Nicely So many world kings had joined forces to attack a single divine lord that had just advanced. If that information spread, it would shock countless people. Long Chen had killed the hopes for their futures, so these world kings were crazy with rage. All their faces were twisted with fury. As dozens of world kings attacked at once, heaven and earth twisted and space-time was locked shut. With nowhere to go, Long Chen was instantly caught in a sure-death scenario. However, Long Chen was the slightest bit worried. In front of all these attacks, he simply rested the Mingong saber on his shoulder, seemingly having given up on resisting and wishing to die. Just then, a screen of light appeared around Long Chen, and it had countless stars flickering within it just like an entire star field. Those world king's attacks landed on the light screen, causing it to quiver ever so slightly. With a few ripples, those attacks seemed to be pebbles that fell into the sea, vanishing without a trace. What? These world kings were shocked. They had never witnessed such a thing. Ah, how regretful. I was lacking just a little bit. Long Chen looked through the screen of light and at the heavily wounded Hallmaster. He then sighed, shaking his head regretfully. To put it frankly, he was unable to fully control his new power. When he attacked, there were large fluctuations that showed off his intent. That was why the Hall Master had escaped his death. Long Chen's dissatisfied expression at having failed to kill the Hall Master left the experts present even more stunned. Long Chen had just advanced to the Divine Lord realm, 
but had managed to heavily wound the sacred pill hall's master after this battle his name would spread far and wide but he still wasn't happy with that after this battle no one would be able to question the high firmament academy's decision about making him a dean if others weren't present long chan would have managed to kill the sacred pill hall's master his power was definitely enough to be the dean of a branch academy long chen felt a bit regretful his main target had been the eighth prince but his second target was the hall master they were the ones he had to kill to avenge the nine star heir regretfully there were too many people in the surroundings and he had only had one chance it was such a pity that he hadn't managed to succeed and could only leave a heavy wound on him however he had destroyed the auspicious cloud prefecture exterminating the foundation of the sacred pill hall and killing millions of lord brahma's followers in this base he had also destroyed his divine statue if that nine star heir knew these things he would definitely be able to smile in the nine springs also the hall master was already old and his blood kai had started to decline as long chen's attack had wounded his core it was already impossible for him to fully recover afterward there was even danger of his realm falling once his realm fell his longevity would instantly reach its limit in any case he wouldn't be able to live much longer this attack had taken half of his life at least fine killing you now would be meaningless it would be better for you to stay alive so that you can beg forgiveness from divine venerate brahma tell him how you smashed apart his statue if you don't explain yourself well i trust that lord brahma will punish you properly long chen smiled sinisterly at the pale hall master who was rapidly consuming medicinal pills to suppress his wounds hearing that the hall master coughed up more blood he grew listless at this moment his assistants were horrified and hastily sealed his aura with their divine power having him fall unconscious for now to protect his life however with this there was an eighty to ninety percent chance that his realm would fall afterward but if they hadn't sealed his aura with his tumultuous emotions he might very well lose control of his unstable power and explode right here they were no fools if they had let the hall master die when the questions were asked and the responsibility for this came crashing down the two of them would have to endure it but as long as the hall master was still alive the two of them wouldn't be blamed too much thus they definitely couldn't allow him to die even if he lost his realm and lifespan that was of less importance to them this was an extreme emergency at this moment the demonic beasts began to repeatedly attack the barrier around Long Chen. The leaders of the mammoth divine elephant, water mallard, golden barbarian bull, and blue eye bright scale races in particular were attacking the most ferociously. Regretfully, no matter how they attacked, they were unable to break that barrier. Of course, it was impossible for them to break it this barrier was made from the energy of the core of the star field in front of this power their own individual power was like that of ants actually there's no need for you to hate me if you want to hate someone you should hate the sacred pill hall you are nothing more than the sacred pill hall's pawns no you can't even count as pawns you are pigs that the sacred pill hall raised do you know that the price of the pills they sell you are dozens of times greater, or even a hundred times greater, than what the rest of the world sells them for? The sacred pill hall locked you up here and brainwashed you, slowly turning you into their subordinates to fight against nine star heirs. By then, other than the nine underworld hall, there would be an additional force dedicated to killing nine star heirs. You already killed a nine star heir here so the sacred pill hole will quickly spread recordings of this throughout the world then every nine star heir will come here to get vengeance on you the seeds of enmity will grow until all of you are simply killing each other and as the pain and hatred pile up the truth no longer becomes important 
if you fools still don't understand how you are being used by the sacred pill hall then you are truly so foolish that there is no cure absolute nonsense you are just making up lies the two assistant hall masters roared furiously veins bulging on their foreheads fortunately they had made their hall master fall unconscious or if he heard long chen's words he really might just die from rage calm down we're all just talking nicely don't get so angry long chen flapped his hand as if he was being a kind elder that mediated things talking nicely the two assistant hall masters looked at the destruction around them and the shattered statue of brahma they clenched their teeth furiously after progressing to this point he urged them to talk nicely they suddenly felt that they might fall unconscious just like their hall master ah fine i won't say much more your integral heaven starfield isn't too far from my empyrean heaven starfield in my empyrean heaven starfield there is a very trustworthy company called the huayun trading company you can secretly send people to see how things are there you can see what the prices of identical products are once you see their prices you'll learn the difference between a black-hearted scammer and a merchant with integrity said long chen he wanted to say more but the core of the star field was telling him that she was only able to maintain this barrier for a limited time thus he quickly spat out some facts about the huayun trading company just then an item came flying out of the wreckage it actually directly passed through the barrier that protected long chen it was the minghong saber's sheath once the minghong saber entered the sheath long chen noticed that it was different from other sabers it was a complete item with its sheath the sheath was two feet thick and was like a shield countless blood-colored runes flowed on top of it curiously the pressure that the sheath gave off was even stronger than that of the actual saber long chen didn't have time to examine it more closely and he put away the saber and sheath i am long chen from the high firmament academy's seventh branch if anyone wants revenge come find me the empyrean heaven starfield doesn't have a single power controlling it like the sacred pill hall we welcome any friends as for whether you are a friend or foe it's up to you what nonsense you killed Euner, repaying kindness with enmity we can only be enemies howled the lightning falcon racist leader long chan was startled but then laughed then come get revenge when have i long chen ever been afraid of anyone suddenly the light screen covering long chen quivered and he vanished leaving behind all the wreckage chapter three thousand four hundred thirty nine the present of the core of the star field as long chen left the auspicious cloud domain was in ruins other than the broken fragments of lord brahma's statue there were almost no signs of civilization at all the world extermination lightning radiance had destroyed all the remaining buildings within the city turning them into dust just how glorious had the auspicious cloud domain been but because of long chen it was turned into wilderness the sacred pill hall which had stood for tens of millions of years now had its divine statue broken millions and millions of demonic beasts had been killed along with tens of millions of followers of the sacred pill hall on his own long chen had practically wiped out an entire generation of the integral heaven star field only the flying beast races experts had survived they were lucky otherwise they would have been wiped out as well they were unaware that this luck was all calculated by long chen he had given them a way out fortunately the old race leader of the lightning falcon race was smart and didn't let the flying beast race get drawn into the final battle furthermore the curses that the lightning falcon race's leader had spat at long chen actually meant the opposite the once glorious sacred pill hall had been reduced to just three people no it was two and a half people 
the whole master could only count as half a person in his state. The two assistant hall masters had ugly expressions. With the destruction of the statue, they lost the ability to communicate with Lord Brahma. Now, they could only bring the hall master to another star field and quickly report this matter. Once they left, the demonic beasts also gloomily scattered. The leader of the lightning falcon race angrily shouted at people to bring away Lei Yuner's corpse. Once they were back at their home, without needing any medicine, Lei Yuner slowly woke up on her own. After waking up, she cried out and shouted, Why did you kill me? In her memories, all she remembered was how Long Chen had attacked her. She didn't remember anything after that. When the old race leader explained this matter to her, her tears turned into a smile. Suddenly, she noticed that a spatial ring had appeared on her finger. Checking it, she cried out in shock. It was packed with tens of thousands of lightning spirit blood soul pills. Furthermore, they were all top-grade spirit pills. When the elders of the lightning falcon race saw those medicinal pills, they were all dumbfounded. This was an enormous wealth to them. There's also a piece of paper, said an elder. Reading the paper, they found that this had truly been left by Long Chen, and he had also left some words for Lei Yuner. His goal this time had been to kill the Eighth Prince as well as the Hall Master. However, he had known that killing the Hall Master would be extremely difficult, so he hadn't had much hope for that. The reason he had attacked Lei Yuner was for fear that the Sacred Pill Hall would find trouble for the Lightning Falcon race in the future. If Long Chen had known that he would borrow the power of the final attack of the Heavenly Tribulation to destroy the Sacred Pill Hall's barrier, perhaps he wouldn't have done this. After all, now that the Sacred Pill Hall was reduced to two and a half people, it was unknown how the two of them would manage to survive the wrath of the higher ups. They wouldn't be in the mood to find trouble for others. In any case, Long Chen had left the path wide open for Lei Yuner. In the end, he told Lei Yuner that there was a thing called love in the human race's world. Love was the foundation for a union between a man and a woman, something not backed by any goals or intentions. Love was a thing that didn't require anything in return. It was not to give birth to stronger descendants, but to be together. So while he was grateful to Lei Yuner for her high opinion of him, he was unable to accept such a good thing from her. He then expressed his apology to her. Lei Yuner seemed to understand yet not understand his words. She only held the paper and cried. All she knew was that Long Chen didn't want her children. Yuner, don't cry. The human race is closer to the heavenly Taoists, so their feelings can't be understood by us but it's fine as long as you work hard at cultivation and comprehend more of the heavenly Taoists. Perhaps you will one day come to understand what that love of the human race is. At that time, you will be able to understand Long Chen's heart. Perhaps he will agree to have children with you then. So don't feel bad. Work hard on your cultivation until you can lead the Lightning Falcon race forward, implored the old leader of the Lightning Falcon race. This elder could be considered a very rare wise person amongst the demonic beast race. Afraid that Lei Yuner would waste time on this issue, he first drew a new goal for her. It had to be known that she had made amazing gains after this tribulation. Her body and soul had undergone a complete transformation. It could be said that other than Long Chen, she was the one to benefit the most from the heavenly tribulation. Perhaps there were greater heavenly geniuses amongst the demonic beasts before this, but those people were all dead now. As long as Lei Yuner became a world king, the lightning falcon race would become the overlord of the integral heaven star field. All right, I'll work hard on cultivation. I'll only have children with him. Lei Yuner clenched her fists, solemnly swearing to accomplish a far and distant goal. Space trembled and Long Chen appeared in a desolate land that was surrounded by a desert. There wasn't a single blade of grass growing here. 
along with him appeared the woman that was the manifestation of the core of the star of field the woman looked at long chen it really is all thanks to you this place is the edge of the integral heaven star field if you pass through the border wall here you will find yourself in the empyrean heaven star field speaking of which the woman waved her hand the next moment countless weapons extravagant cases precious medicines bone books and other items appeared forming a small mountain of treasures long chen was shocked these weapons were all king items even the eighth prince's golden spear was amongst them you helped me out so much i can't give you much but i think these things are useful to you when the city was destroyed i gathered these things to avoid them being destroyed i myself have nothing so i can only hope that this gift is enough said the woman apologetically how could it not be these things are priceless treasures to me i truly have to thank you how could long chen possibly complain about this gift these were all treasures there were over ten thousand king items here some were part of the sacred pill hall's treasury and the others were items whose masters had died in battle they had all been gathered for him so long chen had profited immensely however there were too many treasures and he didn't have time to go through them all as a result he simply tossed them all into the primal chaos space he then thanked her once more he had previously felt some heartache since all the treasures of the auspicious cloud trading company were destroyed just like that but now there wasn't the slightest waste seeing how happy he was the woman was also very happy after saying good-bye to long chen she vanished into the world long chen was very satisfied humming a little tune he started flying in the direction she had pointed chapter three thousand four hundred forty returning in glory the border could be considered similar to a barrier but it wasn't targeting any one it was the result of the layers between two star fields touching and it could be pierced through with enough power before this the border was watched by the sacred pill hall's formation but now that the sacred pill hall had been crippled naturally no one was overseeing it after passing through the border long chen instantly felt that the aura of the heavenly dows was different here the aura was more peaceful more tranquil it didn't have the air of the integral heaven star field that caused restlessness and irritation long chen knew that the integral heaven star field was originally the same as the empyrean heaven star field they were both places for human cultivation it was later that the sacred pill hall forcibly transformed it into a world more suited for demonic beast cultivation upon entering the empyrean heaven star field long chen clearly felt his mood improve even breathing became easier and he no longer felt so constrained and irritable furthermore he felt an indescribable closeness to the empyrean heaven star field the heavenly tao energy had grown warmer to him this was thanks to the blessing of the integral heaven star field's core she had left her heavenly down mark on him and any kind-hearted star field cores would sense that mark and feel closer to him as a result i've really profited this time long chen laughed after being conned by Ancuda, he still managed to turn calamity into profit long chen looked around he was in a barren land without any people around so he decided to just take a stop here and start an inventory of his gains there's a day-night furnace he he its quality is far greater than the old one i'll leave this to the moon and star refining furnace with both of them working together medicinal pills will come limitlessly long chen rubbed the day-night furnace excitedly although the demon moon furnace could refine powerful demonic pills they were mostly only usable by himself others couldn't endure their power with another danate furnace it was truly like someone had given him a pillow just as he was dozing off 
This Danate furnaces item spirit directly resisted when it was drawn into the primal chaos, and the primal chaos bead directly exterminated that item spirit. Because of this, the moon and star refining furnaces item spirit could directly merge into it. In just a few days, it would be in full control. Within the primal chaos space was a lightning dragon coiling in slumber. This time, as soon as his tribulation had started, he had lay linger transformed into millions of lightning runes spread throughout the space, silently absorbing thunder force. During his tribulation, many people had been absorbing the lightning runes. But once they died, those lightning runes returned to heaven and earth. Lay Linger then absorbed the lightning runes in the air, as well as the ones coming out of the fallen. It could be said that this time, she didn't waste a single drop. Hidden within the heavenly tribulation, no one had even noticed her. Originally, she was a trump card Long Chen had been preparing to use against the Eighth Prince, because the Elephant Emperor War Chariot was truly difficult to deal with. But then Wu Tan appeared and directly pierced the war chariot, causing Long Chen to change ideas. He then had Lei Linger absorb the remnant power of that spear and spit out half to help him wipe out the headquarters of the sacred pill hall. It just so happened that Lei Linger was unable to absorb the full power of that final attack, so rather than wasting it, Long Chen used that power to kill. Lei Linger had conserved the power that she could devour, and was in the midst of absorbing it. An astonishing aura now came from her body. After all of this thunder force was absorbed, her power would soar to an unimaginable level. There were over ten thousand king items, almost all of them being premium quality. After all, the king items that could manage to survive that tribulation intact had to be top grade. It could be said, that these king items alone were an unimaginable level of wealth. Also, there were various medicinal ingredients, millions in fact. Long Chen then planted all the ones that he didn't have in the medicinal fields. As for the medicinal pills that he gained, he didn't even bother going through them. He would just leave those to the people in the warehouse to deal with. Now, Long Chen was looking at various secret tomes. Long Chen looked through them and found that they were mostly alchemy techniques. Most likely, they were pulled out of the sacred pill hall's secret treasury. Those things were also useless to him. But they were useful to the High Firmament Academy. They had alchemists that could refine ordinary pills, but higher tier medicinal pills and some rather unique medicinal pills had to be bought from the Huayan Trading Company. With these secret tomes, the High Firmament Academy's alchemy level would soar. What? There are spatial chests. Long Chen suddenly noticed eight spatial chests amongst the treasures. When he opened them, he found that they were packed with fist-sized crystals. Every spatial chest had ten million immortal king crystals, for a total of eighty million immortal king crystals. Fuck! The sacred pill hall really knows how to make money. Where did they steal eighty million crystals from? Long Chan's heart was pounding. He had never seen so much money before. Even before this, the first generation wood foundation divine fruit that he sold to Zheng Wenlong had only gotten him a few hundred thousand immortal king crystals worth of materials, which he then used to rebuild the seventh branch academy. At that time, he had felt himself to be a rich moneybag. However, Looking at these eight spatial chests, he suddenly felt like he was a starving beggar compared to the sacred pill hall. There are more. Long Chen found even more scattered immortal king crystals at the bottom of the pile of treasures. In the end, he managed to scrounge up another few hundred thousand. Seeing this wealth, Long Chen almost felt numb. The sacred pill hall had way too much money. In the end, he found thousands of spatial rings as well. Ah, I'm not going through all of this. Long Chen directly gave up. The spatial rings mostly belonged to those half-step world kings. They were their life's savings. 
only half-step world kings could protect at least a portion of their bodies under Long Chen's attacks, so these spatial rings were still intact. These spatial rings had all kinds of things. It would take him months to sort through them all, so he just gave up. Although it was nice to count money, when there was too much money to count, it became a chore. He had lost interest. Finally, Long Chen turned his attention to the Minghong saber. He pulled it out along with its sheath. Closing his eyes, he sensed it and smiled. I didn't expect my greatest gain this time to be you. This sheath was made out of unknown materials. It had actually absorbed a huge amount of blood soul energy and was currently nourishing the Minghong saber. Long Chen quickly concluded that the Minghong saber was a weapon made for slaughter. The sheath would absorb the blood soul energy of the slain, transforming it into a miraculous energy capable of strengthening the Minghong saber. In other words, it would continue to grow. No wonder it thirsted to go along with him. As long as it was with Long Chen, it would definitely grow at the fastest rate. Long Chen then placed the Ming'ong saber on his back. One man and saber, mutually reflecting on each other. It appeared incredibly wild and domineering. Boss Long San is returning home in glory. Long Chen laughed and stepped into the air, transforming into a bolt of lightning that vanished from this wilderness.